Blessings and peace be upon you, brothers and sisters. Welcome as I, Brother Ryan from Noctis Circumensum, and my fellow brother David, also from Noctis Circumensum. Thank you for joining us, Stacy Everdell. We see you. Uh, blessings and peace be upon you. Uh, welcome. We're going to play a board game this evening, and we're <laughs> trying to make it more fun than that intro. Uh, check this out. Look what we got on the table, Brother David. We got, what is it? What do we have? What do we have? Do we have there it is. Ryan. Oh, my gosh. It's Aura at Labora. So this is part of Uwe Rosenberg Month. If you've been following anything going on in the channel, and I hope you have, the entire month of November is going to be Uwe Rosenberg Month. We should do a sound check before anything bad goes yeah, on. Can, so tell us, Poppy. <laughs> hey, Poppy, how's it going? Tell us, Stacey Everdell. Uh, can you hear us okay? Here, this is me talking. It's going to be Brother David talking. Go oh, ahead. that's going to be me talking. Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm getting getting used to... I'm a new... I'm a new convert he's, to the, he's to the new, board he, game clergy here. He's so an I'm, acolyte. I've got to get, I've got to get used to it for but sure. But don't so. the I, I don't know very much, but don't the dudes in the dudes in the black robes control higher order things? I don't know if the they brown... must have made a mistake when they were passing out the robes at the door. Probably, <laughs> I, I feel, <laughs> I feel like there there were some mistakes made, but that's okay. Well, this is a nice round of table stream, so talk about mistakes made. So it's Uwe Rosenberg month, all month long. Uwe Rosenberg, if you don't know, is a, a very famous, very popular board game designer who penned such classics and hits as Agricola and Caverna. You might have heard of Patchwork, A Feast for Odin. Uh, you might have seen my How to Play, uh, sorry, yeah, my How to Play Agricola earlier in the week. That was from last year. And then this year, just on Thursday, I did a solo playthrough of Agricola that I know a few of you joined me for that. I think I saw Stacey Everdell and, uh, and Poppy in the chat during that. And tonight, we're going to play through this one, Aura Labora, at the two-player count. Now, this is one of those weird games where I think the designer, Uwe, went and like designed it for three and four players, and is like, great, it works great. Let's play test it at two. Oh, no, the uh, whole thing's broken. Yeah. So we got to kind of like redesign things. So then he does the two-player game, and then he's like, well, that's a little bit short. Maybe we should do like a long two-player game. And he's like, well, as long as there's a long or short two-player game, we might as well make a short three and four-player game. And it's like, okay, that's done. Uh, oh, no, solo mode. And then he's like, oh, no, none of this works in solo. So we're going to have to, you know, tweak it <laughs> for solo <laughs> as well. So thanks for mentioning that green insert. Hey, how's it going? Great. Thanks for, thanks for joining thanks us for from joining. Poland. Oh, we should mention, too, by the way, if, if you're, I think a few of you are following Knights Around the Table or Noctis Circumensum on Twitch. And if you're not, boy, do we have a treat for you tonight because uh, uh, by the power vested us by our, our Lord and Father, Uwe Rosenberg. Uh, by the way, we are, what is it, Rosenberg Accretions, in case you're wondering. We're not, uh, this isn't a Catholic thing. This is the, the loyal order of Uwe Rosenberg. Uh, board game uh, followers. Blessings and yeah. peace be upon his name. Uh, so uh, if you follow Noctis uh, Circumensum, I keep having to look that in Latin on the, on the Chrome to pronounce that properly. If you follow on Twitch this evening, this blessed evening, um, you're here, of course, to confess your board game sins, and we will forgive you of your board game sins. However, we will also issue the sacrament of, of penance, so we have some board game penance uh, for you to do just to atone, uh, so to make right your relationship with, with Uwe. So that's how it's going to go. Just hit that yeah. follow button. Let's see what that follow button looks like. It's purple. It might not make the noise that you hear, but I uh, hope that you can click it and make that number go up. And if we hit, and it's very possible because we're only six people away, if we hit 200 adherents tonight on Twitch, we will, we will celebrate with some celebration music. So it should be good. Now, uh, you mentioned this, this insert. Isn't this cool? This is really cool. This game, nice. it's interesting. If you don't have this insert... The, the main, they call this the game board, and it's really just a wheel. It's a little bit of sort of a rondel kind of, except you're not making moves. This kind of determines the economy. So this beam is going to be moving as we play. And if you don't have anything, anything to sort of stabilize or make it look cool, it kind of bounces and wiggles around all over the place. And it's a little bit wonky because it's like tipsy and teetering on top of the screw, and it doesn't look that great. So yeah, I 3D printed this. I wish I could name for you the designers on, uh, on Thingiverse. Who, one person designed it, and one person uh, redid it, like uh, did a mix of it, and made it deep enough to carry both wheels. So there's four different wheels, and oh, sorry, two different wheels, and they're double-sided, and then two different beams. And depending on your player count, you've got to put a different beam on the wheel. 
And then these things like puzzle piece in, and depending again on the player count, they have to puzzle piece in at sort of different uh, areas to the wheel. We'll kind of explain how that all works as we go. I'm not so gonna, yeah, you were gonna yeah, say? Let's, um, yeah, let's, let's say hi to a couple of people in chat. So sure. Varys is here, uh, hey, Dragala Varys. is here. Um, there is also a comment saying that the YouTube audio is one-sided, only coming out of the right side. So would, yes. do you think that is a that is by design. Problem or? That's by design. It's because it's, I think it's just the way that this uh, Zoom recorder works. So for the very first time, we're trying out a two-player mode uh, where we're both going into, we're both going into the, uh, into the device. And I think it only puts us through one, ch I don't know how it works, but that's really interesting that you're hearing that just on one side through your headphones. I wonder what happens when we play music, if it comes out through the other ear. I'm not sure, but thanks for that feedback. I don't know if I can fix that right now, but if you're okay listening to us lopsided, then we'll just go with that. Uh, it's also a little low. Well, I can crank, I can crank us up and, and, and do that. Let's go up to, now we're at 60, and you can let us know if that's yeah, too let loud. Us, let us know if that's any better. Yeah, it's, uh, the sound checking thing is really hard to do. Anyway, so this game. So I'm not going to do a full teach. I've played once. David has played how many times now? Zero times. Oh, dear, zero times. <laughs> uh, great. So what are we getting into? Uh, New, I'm a new convert to, That's the, it. to the Rosenbergs. I haven't <laughs> haven't done too many. They're not my not no. my strong suit as far as games go. So we'll mm. uh, we'll have to see how this goes. But I have read the majority of the rule books. The sorry, the rule books. Yeah, there's a couple. Oh my gosh! Well, let's <laughs> take a look at those. This is uh, we actually have. There are four rule books that come with this game here's all four of them one is a double-sided setup guide that's this thing one is like the quick rules quick rules is like i don't know eight pages long or something and then one of them is the heavier duty rules is like a 12 pager and then you've got the ever important index that lists what every single building does and sort of uh, elucidates or or uh, goes into more detail on them so it's a little bit ridiculous and i'm just going to say it right now uh it's bonkers trying to learn this game i had a really hard time and i've played other uve rosenberg games before yeah. it's funny when we were at the table last night we're like i don't know does this do this or does it does this do that i played it with my wife cheryl and cheryl's like well it's uve so it probably does this and we're like oh yes of course we're right so hopefully maybe you're watching this because you got the game or you're interested in the game we're going to shut up and play and then sort of teach you how to play as we go along so, so Couple, couple more questions. So Stacy asked um, if we have a schedule up of what other Uve games we're going to be oh, sampling over the question. month. Yeah, if you go to nightsaroundthetable.com, there's a big badge right at the top that says Uve Rosenberg Month. Click that, and there's a calendar, and so it's shaping up. So tonight it's Aura at Labora with guest David. Next week on Saturday night, same bat time, same bat channel, we're going to be playing. A Feast for Odin with Dave, who's a completely different person. Different. <laughs> and then yeah. the week after that, uh, again, if you like this time slot, Saturday night, I'm going to be playing Le Havre with my wife, Cheryl. And then the week after that, it's going to be Halatau with my friend, Shawnee O, who you saw open up all those Eagle, Eagle Griffin games. And then if you're more like a weekday afternoon kind of person, like at 1 o'clock on Thursdays, I'm going to be doing solo modes of a bunch of these games. I haven't yet slotted those in, but if you have any preferences for what you'd like to see me play or play with me, then uh, please let me know, either here or on the Discord server. Uh, this is a really cool place to hang out. We're, uh, uh, David's there all the time, and we're playing games together on Board Game Arena. Uh, so maybe you can join us and play board games with us. Write that down. It's at the bottom of all the videos, too, that we do. Looking forward to Halatau. That's still on our unplayed shelf. That's a big game to have on your unplayed shelf, man. That's a lot of, a lot of real estate. Uh, our copy comes to us courtesy of Asmodee uh, Canada, and we appreciate it very much. Oh, we're also going to do uh, Patchwork Christmas. So you saw that they just issued Patchwork Halloween, and they've done a Christmas version maybe a year or two before. So you really like Halatau. That's, that's good. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't played. It's still in shrink. Uh, over here as well, but we'll crack it open and see what it's... I gave so Sean something. the option. I said, what do you want to play? Do you want to play this game about Vikings or do you want to play about monks? I've got one that's kind of come more about booze. He's like, booze, we'll do the booze one. <laughs> All, right. All right, Sean. Too, too thematic. Yeah, yeah. I, um, <laughs> speaking speaking of the Discord, so I am I am not the resident uh, Uwe expert yet, but I did ask DM Explains, who's another very friendly person on the Discord, uh, which game that I would enjoy the most um, of the choices, and he did recommend this one. So we'll see. Uh, I'm glad you brought up. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how that we'll see how that goes. Whether we need to uh, whether we need to send him some extra penances after the stream, <laughs> or if we're going to be okay with that decision. So we'll see. He did say there was some combo building. There was some you know extra actions. So we'll uh, 
We'll see how that goes. I do love uh, I do love my combo building games. There's a lot of combo building. Oh, we got to follow. It's okay. Snakey82. Snakey82. Here's how this is going to work. First, uh, thank you very much for the follow. I'm going to uh, I'm going to look up what your board game sin is, uh, which you told us of course ahead of time. Your board game sin was uh, was not saying Uno. Which is very unfortunate, but uh, brother David, uh, can you give uh, Snakey eighty uh, two his or her penance, please? Board game penance. Are we uh, are we going to test out the? Oh, we should. Penance yeah. Penance picker. That's a great. Nine hundred. That's, that's a great idea. Here we go. The penance picker nine hundred. It's going to pick a board game. And what do we got? It's uh, oh, wingspan. wingspan. Wow. So wingspan. We just we just played that uh, last. Weekend. On the Halloween stream, and On if I Halloween remember stream, correctly, the spookiest, and I died. You died twice. Times. So how I'm even here? It's how like a I'm resurrection even here is, miracle. Uh, it is a miracle. So, so for so for your penance, so for the sin of what, so what we that do, was we, not saying not Uno. saying Uno. Yeah, that's that's a big no no. So the next time you play Wingspan, you are restricted by only playing birds that should qualify for the Anatomist card but don't. So the anatomist card is a card that says, well, the bird's got to have a name of a body part in it. So right. um, you're going to be making sure you're playing your American woodcock, uh, your variety of uh, titmice, and then uh, perhaps even if you have it, the promo card, and I've got to look at this, Duke McCooter's Duke McCooter's huge bootied dude noodle. Yeah, that's uh, my favorite pro promo card. The, that's the, the best promo card. The Knights Around the Table <laughs> promo card for Wingspan. So, yes, uh, please perform that penance and then all will be right with you and Uve. Uh, I don't, what were we talking about? I saw Lahab on clearance at a game store for 30 bucks. Wonder if it's worth it. I have not yet played. That was my Christmas present last year and it remains in shrink. And I can't wait to get it out of there. But like 30 bucks. Uve 30 games, bucks sounds really good yeah. price for a. I mean, I know some people have that pretty high up on their top 100 games of all time list. So. Yeah, and it's on the board game Geek Top 100, and it's been there for a long time, too. So, uh, yeah, I, I go for it. it. That's a steal. In fact, steal it. I know I shouldn't encourage people to steal board games. No, no don't. No, that's don't bad. I'll get, I'll get more, board game penances. More penances. All more right. Penances. Here we go. So this is what it looks like. That's the main board, and I'm going to show you David's board. I'm going to show you my board. Actually, I'm just going to show you my board because they're both going to look the same. This is what your, woo, when you bump the camera, this is what your player board, what your looks, board like. looks like. So you have a little, you're, you're trying to make the wealthiest, most valuable diocese. And so this is like your land that you've got. And this is your one little cloister building right here. And you've got a couple of other buildings here that you will be able to place your little pawns on and do stuff. You also have a bunch of, a couple of empty spaces and a bunch of spaces that could be empty, except that they've got forests and they've got like peat bogs on them. So on your turn in the two player game, you get to do two main actions in a row. So you've got three options for your main action. One is to clear out one of these forests or peat bogs. And then you get uh, little tokens that represent wood or peat. I'll show you those in a little bit. Uh, the second thing you can do, uh, optionally, you get to do one of these three things, is take one of your dudes and put them on one of your buildings and do the thing. And just like any worker placement game, you can't put a guy on a building that already has a guy on it. And one of these guys, you might notice, it might be hard to see from above, but one of them is special. So they look like, kind of like sorry or trouble pawns, but one guy has like a hat on. That, the guy with the hat on is your prior. So the third thing that you can do is build a building, and the buildings are available right here in the middle of the board. This is like a common pool, so it's a bit of a race to see who can pay the cost first and get it into their diocese. If you build a building on your turn and you happen to have your dude in a hat available, sorry, if you have him available, then the moment that you build that building as like a bonus action, you're able to put your prior on that building and do the thing. Otherwise, he's just like a normal guy. That's his special deal. Um, if you have all your guys occupied, you're not allowed to place any more guys because they're stuck. And then the interesting thing about this game that I think you guys will find a little bit fascinating is that you can put a guy on a building to use it, but it doesn't have to be your building. No. So we're both going to be building these buildings that are in the center of the table. That's, like I said, a common pool. Let me actually go in a bit closer so you can see them. Um, and the costs are all up here. There's also five different biomes in the game. There's hillside, plains, mountains, shore, and water. So different buildings can go on different types of biomes, and some are excluded. So like the houseboat can only go on water. So there's little prerequisites. You can see the cost up in the top left, and everybody has a little yellow shield that tells us how many points we get for building that building. Fine. What's the deal with using other people's buildings? Well, I can say on my turn to David, I'm going to place 
uh, a brother. I'm going to place a clergyman, but I'm not going to place one of my own. I, I want you to place one of yours on the building that I name. Right. Brother David, uh, thanks to Christian brotherly love, or sorry, Uwe, Rose, Uwe Rosenberg, Rosen, Christian, who just call ourselves the Rosies. Uh, thanks to Rosie Love, uh, he, he can't refuse. He has to take one of his clergymen of choice and put it on the building that I asked him that I could use. Now, the deal is I have to pay him two coins uh, for the, uh, sorry, one coin one for coin. the privilege, right? So over here, we've got this uh, first player marker that shows one coin. After a special building is built, the distillery, uh, the whiskey distillery, this gets flipped and now the cost becomes two coins. That's called a work contract. So it goes from one to two coins that you have to pay in order to get somebody to use their building and then you get the benefit. So that's all happening. Ah, uh, but if you don't have the money, uh, every brother likes a good little bit of tipple. So if you have a, a, a cask of whiskey, you can use the whiskey as the work con the work contract as a gift to your host right. in order to use that building. But here's the deal: if I use money, brother David gets the money. If we use booze, uh, brother David and I have a little monk party. We and just the, drink it. The booze right. goes, yeah. So the booze goes back to the supply. So that's how it works when you're using somebody else's building. Now, when you use a building that has a How's this for a million dollar word? A triskaidecagon, which is a 13 sided circle. So here, if I were to put my guy on here, anything with a 13, 13 sided circle means that we're looking to the 13 sided Sided wheel of resources here, right? So I look at the thing that I was going to get. So if I look at here, I'm gonna get some clay. So then I have to look at the 13 sided wheel and look where clay is. Well, the resource indicator is right here and it says zero. I would get zero clay for doing that. So you don't want to do that. But as the game progresses, this wheel is going to be turning. Look, now clay would be worth one, clay would be worth two, clay would be worth two again, clay would be worth three as this beam moves around. So the things get richer and richer, and that's another little bit of a race. It's like, oh my gosh, I'd like to do this, but wood is at 10, and I can't give up a 10 wood. Like, give me a break. No. So there's a little bit of a... A little bit of a temptation going on with that wheel and another little bit of a race for resources. The final thing that's going on, I said I wasn't going to do a full teach, but I'm kind of blazing through it. The final thing that's going on is there are special wedges that are marked with uh, letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, and D. When the beam goes and hits one of those and passes it, if we take this up from A and we move it to B. Now you're wondering, there's two Bs, how do I know which B it is? Well, there's a B with a two player symbol on it and a B with a one player symbol. So we're doing a two player two game, player. we'll put it on two players. So now a couple things happen. What that is, is it's going to be a settlement phase. So all of the buildings, like I mentioned, have a little shield on them. Let me get in closer. A little yellow shield, that's where the number of points they're worth when you build them in your diocese. Four points, five points, six points, nine points. So far, so good. You might have noticed that there's also a little house with a number on it. So this is six points, five points, one point, seven points. So different point values. Some of them are worth negative point values. So the Pete Colkin, nobody wants to live near. These are dwelling <laughs> values. So it all depends on like how nice it is for other people to be near it, right? Nobody wants to live near a stinky Pete Colkin kiln. So it's dwelling value is negative two. Here's how the dwelling values work. At those periods, when, they, when we pass the letter marks, David and I both have these cards. And they are settlements. So you can tell a settlement because it has like a little four-headed red arrow on it. So these are different than buildings. You're not allowed to build these except if you're in a settlement phase. And what they do is they sweeten the stuff that is orthogonally adjacent to them. So if I were to put this down, build this during a settlement phase, suddenly it's now worth not only its yellow shield value for points, it's also worth this dwelling value, this one point. And it is going to activate the dwelling value for any building that is next to it orthogonally. So diagonals don't count. So in a cross shape, which I thought was a little bit clever. So here, 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 and here, right? So any, any red house number is going to activate for points. Now you might be wondering, well, Ryan, like there's, it's a tight board. There's not really any place to, to go that you can't score anything that's up here. Ha, 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 ha. However, there are additions, this very Uve thing, especially if you played a Feast for Odin, there are additional boards that you can build. So there are these districts that can go on top of or below your diocese, and they're double-sided, so you get to pick whether you want one with a peat bog and a couple of forests, or flip it and have mostly empty spaces in one forest. You get that choice. And the cost is down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Or you can build one of these suckers. You can do this as a bonus action on your turn and once before buying a settlement. So this is shore and coast, and this is hillside and mountain. Now there's a couple of interesting things about both of them. Check this out. The shore and coast 
people like living next to water. So the water inherently has a dwelling value of three. So if you're able to put one of those settlement buildings next to water, uh, it just, you know, people are happy and you're going to activate more points doing that. This is kind of interesting because the hillside is next to a mountain, but look like the mountain is like offset and in the middle. So there's some interesting scoring possibilities going on here. And certain, only a couple of buildings absolutely must be built in mountain. Right. Some okay. of them can be built in mountain. Most of them are hillside or plains and so, so forth. So the numbers, the money that it's going to cost, three bucks, it goes up as we dig through this stack. Now that's uh. going to be four bucks, and then it's going to be four bucks, and then it's five bucks underneath that. So again, it's another little race. And then the last thing I think that I didn't mention, I know this is a lot, um, there's no stone. It enters uh, at a point later on in the game. And... Uh, there was one more thing. Oh, yes. When we pass those little blue house marquee sections, we free up additional cards. Buildings, yeah. So not only are we going to get an additional settlement card to use in later settlement phases, but there's going to be new buildings that get down to the main display that we can potentially build. How does that all sound, Dave? <laughs> that, that sounds great. <laughs> Perfect. Sounds great. Yeah, we're Ready all, to play. We're all and there. thanks for joining the stream. I uh, wish you all a good evening. No. Uh, are we missing anything in chat before we go on and yap, yap, yap? Uh, I think we need our starting We do starting resources. Hi from Serbia. Hi, hi Miran. Thanks for joining us. So our starting resources are going to be, with my big old arm and shot, we get one sheep and one, we do not get one stone, we get one peat. So we get six resources to start. And I'm going to have to sort of arrange mine so they're in a better, better position. And we get one wheat. A wood. We get a wood. Wood, wheat. We get a gold. These are called what the game calls the basic resources. What does gold look like? It's up at the very top. I put it up there. Now, these, these tiles are double-sided, and there's like a more refined version of themselves on the flip side, which I'll show you. So wheat can be turned into hay, or peat can be turned into peat coal, but only through, usually through the actions of the building. There are a couple of additional things that you can do on your turn that aren't part of your main action. And one of them is to flip your wheat at any time you can flip to it grain, to hay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you might want to do that. Grain to yeah, grain to, to straw. Straw. And then the last one that I'm missing is going to be, not that one, not beer, no, but, uh, clay. No, is it clay? Yeah, it's got to be clay. Clay at the very top. Now, there's another thing that I didn't mention. I said I was going to do a full teach, but this is pretty like breakneck fast teach. So some of the resources have little symbols on them that look like a pot of food, and some of them have a little fire. The fire means energy, and the food means food. And so if you look at the costs for these, for these settlement cards, they don't cost like specific things. They cost general things. They cost energy, and they cost food. So you've got to pay that many energy and that many food in order to build a settlement. And true to Uwe fashion, if you overpay tough nuts, <laughs> you overpay, you overpay. So that's how that's how that goes. <laughs> I think I think I need a drink. Woo! Mmm. Mm -hmm. Just notice the Latin. That's a nice touch. Thank you. Mmm. That reminds me, I have a benediction to read. Is that the right word? I don't even know. I have a, a series of Latin phrases now. My Latin is a little bit rusty. Uh, I don't know if you know Latin, you might be able to translate these, but. Uh, uh, <laughs> A gentibus emiscumque uh, canis day. In the name of Bupe. Right. Great. Go on now. Time to play, David. You want to RPS for startsies, or what do you want to do? Oh, we didn't determine. Is it, It's going to be one, two, three, throw. Okay. One, okay. Two, three, throw. one, one two, two, three, three throw. throw. Okay, it's you. Okay, so right. he's going to be first player. He gets two turns in a row, two actions in a row. Two main actions in a row. So what's it going to be? What's it going to be? These are so, these are the buildings that, that are on offer. So the very first thing we do is we rotate the wheel. Okay, so there is one of every There's one of everything, yeah. Well, one thing, important thing that I didn't mention is there's the this wild, orange the thing cards, down here. Yeah. yeah, this thing's called the Joker. So instead of when you're using a building with a Triska Decagon on it, uh, instead of using one of the normal resource markers, if you use the Joker, that gets you kind of like anything. Get you anything, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen, I've definitely seen in plays that um, people just use that for the sake of using it, just to, <laughs> just to keep it from the other players. Absolutely. Okay, this will be interesting. Having <laughs> no sort of strategic idea, uh, do we want to, uh, do we want to take a poll? What you should do. 
<laughs> Are we gonna poll for every every turn? Dave poll every turn. To take? I have no every idea single what I'm turn. doing. Um, ask the audience. No, do okay. we want to poll as to who's going to uh, emerge victorious? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, yeah. So, all right, we'll do can this we, just for can fun. Can we do that? We can do that. Okay, listen, you're gonna hit exclamation mark vote space one if you think that Ryan's gonna take home the victory this evening. Exclamation mark vote space two if you think it's gonna be brother David. Oh my gosh, I gotta kill that poll. This is not okay. There we go. Looking good. Uh, I just closed it though, so let's let's try that one more time. Hold on, close the poll. <laughs> two up we go. Good old technology. Sorry, my favorite my favorite thing is the poll. So <laughs> is it the poll? Yeah. All right. I feel. So, Type I feel we have this. You, you spent so much time building this. I did. Beautiful technology. So David is vote two. Uh, Ryan is vote one. Uh, don't worry, my feelings won't be hurt because if you know any nights around a table live stream, uh, you know that uh, Ryan doesn't always fare so well in these board games. I uh, I tend to uh, I tend to get lost in the reads with a bunch of them, and I don't know what's going. Oh, there's a there's a there's a pity vote. To I be appreciate. to be fair, I am not <laughs> I am not an expert at Uwe Uwe games, especially the first time around. Like it took me forever to score above zero in in Agricola. It just wasn't so much begging for there was so much begging for food that things just went badly. But we'll see. Do we'll you want to know what the target one. score for this is for single player? Did you look that no, up? No, it's like 500 it's or 500 something points. crazy. It's yeah. five. Do you want to know what I scored last night in our first game? It's like 252? Seems, seems fine. We'll I guess we'll halfway we, there. We'll see if we get there. <laughs> I think the Oh, you got to hit a are... space there, Moran. Exclamation mark vote, space one. One more for the old Rai Rai uh, to vote for me. Again, the bad money is on Rai Rai. Let's go... <laughs> Let's keep the poll up for a little bit, and we'll check out uh, what's going on down here. In Congress. okay, yeah, I'll do my. So, sorry, I'll I'll do my turn. Not to not to delay. So you uh, can get you can get clay. You can get money. Uh, one thing that I didn't tell you is that you can at any time you can consolidate five monies, five of these little guys into a big fiver chit, and that's worth an extra couple points to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then the other thing is that if you have booze, if you have whiskey, you can sell it for a couple of coins. Hmm. Oh, look, man, I'm edging you out in the poll. <laughs> All right. I don't know why my zombie name tag keeps showing up up there. I'm going to remove it. Yeah, we've got um, we've got the Ryan zombie. Um, yeah, with only one, I mean, only getting one from the wheel. There you go. Only getting one from the wheel. That doesn't seem... Right, but things are cheap. Like, this is, this is two and a clay, the false lighthouse. Oh, but you don't have... Coast to put yeah, it on. I, I need a. I would need a coast to. Uh, I would need a coast to place it. Um, and I get two. I get two. I do two things. Okay, there's a lot of faith in Rai Rai on this poll. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked. Look so. At so you can clear, peat or forest. That gives you some, yeah, some just, stuff. Just, just one though. No, no. Oh, yeah, it is one. Yeah, you're right. Everything, I was like, no, what? Every, unless one. we've missed something in the setup, no. everything is definitely at one. Now, while David's deciding, I'm going to show you something else that's interesting about this on the wheel. Uh, there are these numbers, and you might wonder what these are all about. So there's, a, it looks like a fraction. There's a top number, a numerator, we call it a math, and a bottom number. That tells you whose turn it's supposed to be. So David's player one, and I'm player two. So right now, it's here, and we're looking at, this is the first time the wheel's gone around, the beam's gone around the wheel. So we're looking at the top number. So we can check that to make sure that it's in the right position. So David's player one, player it's on one, one. So it's the right. we're good. And then when it gets to my turn, we're gonna move the beam. So if you see us not moving the beam, let us know. The reason I have a little chit up here that I handmade that says top and bottom is that the beam, we got confused last night and it spun around a couple times. When it goes all the way around, then you're looking at the bottom number, that's fine, but it might go all the way around again. Anyway, I just have that for a reminder. Okay, so here's, <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to I'm gonna cut one of my forests. Okay. So I think I just Can you grab that and grab that. place it on the common stack of And I'm gonna use That the, was Pete though. You did you mean to cut a marsh? Cut Pete out of a marsh? I think I flipped it over when I gave it to you. It oh, was okay. it was a forest. Great, I trust. <laughs> um, and I'll use this goes back to zero. You're gonna use the Joker. Yeah, just because so you're I'm gonna take a jerk. one wood from. I'm the just gonna take one bucket. wood, uh, and then I'm gonna immediately spend that two wood to get the cloister courtyard. 
So David has chosen a yellow building. The deal with the yellow cloister buildings is they have to go next to, like a, uh, orthogonally adjacent to your other yellow cloister buildings. So he wouldn't have been able to put that anywhere else on his board. Um, the buildings that you place don't have to be adjacent to anything. If he had cleared out that top left peat bog, he could have just stuck a building there, no problem. It doesn't have to be next to anything, but the yellow ones are the ones that have to be. Okay, and cool. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my prior on it as I build it, mm -hmm. as a free action. That's right. I'm gonna trade in, I'm gonna trade in a coin and a clay and a wheat to get six identical basic goods. What are you going for? You're making me nervous already. <laughs> you fomented a strategy five seconds in. You're gonna get well, this is six coins. I'm gonna get six coins and then I'm gonna use well, that's it. That's two actions. Don't be, don't be going. Don't well, be I'm going to do a, I'm going to do one freebie. Oh, you can, right. That's a freebie. So, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. He's done so much on his first turn. Oh no. You sure? And then you can't undo your vote. <laughs> so he's grabbed that. So he can choose either side. He can choose the coast shoreline side. So you might want to shove uh, that over so it's more in the Actually. Shot. No, you're going to go what? Let's go. Let's, let's go this way actually. Yeah. Okay. So the rule with this is that those have to go on either side of your board. I guess Mountains, they can go. They can, yeah. You can offset them, uh, but they couldn't go at the very top, so it's kitty corner. You can't do that. Is that that's fitting no, that, that's, nicely? That's beautiful. Okay. Um, but you're not allowed to... I, I was going to say, if you put it all the way to the top, shove it up two spaces, we'll show them what they can't do. All the way up one yeah, more. you can't put it you there. You can't do that. You that's could, nonsense. could go here. You could. could go here. I think I'm just going to try this. I don't, don't want to play too much with fancy. Okay. <laughs> that is my... This is why we vote for the Ama. Yeah, a vote well, well voted, <laughs> vote well cast. So the only thing about those is that you can't rotate them. So the cost that he paid that's in the bottom right uh, it has to be at the bottom right when you place yeah. those. Great. Correct. Well, golly, no pressure, hey? So now that David's two actions are done, we move the beam, and it's my turn. And now most everything except the Joker is at two, so I'll get two when I do stuff. Let me take a look at these buildings. You went mountains, eh? Which kind of makes me want to do something else. Kind of makes me want to do coast, but I would need four bucks to do it, and I would only get two bucks for doing that. Your building is occupied. However, I could get three, but no, but that would take both of my guys. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Hmm. The peat coal kiln is trash. <laughs> Seems okay. I don't. I didn't build it last night. It, it's worth negative two dwelling points. Well, you just don't don't dwell beside it. Yeah. You got to stick it somewhere where you know you're not going to be uh, causing yourself problems, right? You do, you do. Or to I had the malt house last night, so Im immediately you can see a synergy right here, right? Mm -hmm. You pay a wheat to get malt and a uh, and a and a hay, which you can then flip and back. Then but then I thought, oh, then that's malt and hay to get beer, but it's not. It's malt and wheat, and you've already burned your wheat. So I thought, like, instantly it looks like a nice synergy, but it is not a nice synergy. So don't I thought you don't could flip your. Anymore. I thought you could flip your straw back to... You cannot. Oh, just one way. Yeah, it's just one way. Okay. You can process it. So I'm going to close this poll because it looks like I have reigned victorious. Thank you so much, everybody, for your vote of confidence. Um, I will let you down uh, handily. Pasi is asking if we move the beam now or we wait until the next action. So in the two-player mm. game, mm -hmm. which of course I know you're wanting to play solo and, and kind of figuring that out, so unfortunately it's probably going to be different. But in the two-player game, each player takes their two moves, and that's their turn. At the end of their turn, we move the, we move the beam. Mm -hmm. I hope I've got that right. Perfecto. I did not build the stone merchant my first game, but I'm thinking that maybe, maybe it would be good two heat, oh sorry, two food and one energy. Let me see what my situation is stone. over here. Yeah, maybe, maybe because stone is like cool off the top of the game because it's really hard to get, right? But then mm -hmm. there's no buildings that. Well, there's yeah, the brewery requires it. Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. Just like you know these games, especially like Keyflower, where it's like. You're building it not because you necessarily want it, but because you know other people are going to want to use it. You know, maybe that makes right. it compelling for you to use. And it only it does only cost a wood, but let me see if I could. So it says that 
up to five times you can five trade in two yeah. ener two one energy and two food in order to get stone. And one or two energy. Yeah, I could. That's what I did the first game though, and I don't think it was a good idea, but I gotta do something. I gotta do something. Oh man. I'm going to pursue an interesting strategy now. I'm going to do something that I haven't done before, despite only having played this game once. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to put my guy here and I'm going to take sheep. Or, well, it's livestock, really. It's like the generic, generic livestock. Are you going to uh, agricola them into the, into the fireplace? <laughs> do, you, do you mean carry them gently to market in my cooking pot? I um, think the jury's still out on that <laughs> one. So that means that if I do that, uh, the sheep on the thing goes down to zero, the livestock. And then the other thing I'm going to do... Yeah, that, that, that's right. In the three in the three and four player versions, um, the first player takes a turn, then everybody takes their turn, and then the first player takes another turn. So the first player gets two turns in that round, and then you move the wheel in the three and four player game. Uh, I, just, yeah. I just got rid of this forest and I'm going to take two wood for doing so. So back to you if you want to move the beam while I grab my You stuff. got rid of the forest, took two wood? Yep. Should have two actions, right? What else to do? Uh, I, uh, I placed a guy. Uh, by the way, it doesn't cost a guy if you both did Oh, you placed a guy that. in the farmyard. Yeah, yeah. if you cleared It doesn't cost out, a guy to clear. Yeah, you Correct. don't have to pay a guy. You're all good. Okay, all right. so what is, what is lucrative? I'm not sure what even some of these things are. This is grain. Mm-hmm. So you clay, got money, clay, rain, clay, money, and peat. Peat. Okay, oh. perfect. The the beauty of Mr. Rosenberg's tokening. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have. I looked up peat because I don't understand what peat is. Not, not entirely it's a, sure either. It's like it's more of a European thing. So peat over here in Canada is just stuff that like slows moose down. But peat in <laughs> peat in the uh, in, in in Europe land or in Ireland where we're playing. I didn't mention, by the way, that there's two variants of this. Oh, yeah, we're, we are playing the Ireland variant. There's, there's, good, there's good Ireland point, and point. there's France. And so if you go down here and look on the backs of all the cards, there's like a little fleur-de-lis or a shamrock on the other side of the card. So you can pick either Ireland or France. Um, there's whiskey in Ireland. There's wine in France. And there are a few different, a few buildings that change. Like the, there's no houseboat in France for some bizarre reason. Um, so, yeah, it's just a little bit. Just I mean, if it wasn't confusing enough, just now all the cards are double-sided. So um, peat, peat is like um, like uh, dense, dense swampy forest settlement that has uh, settled into like uh, like you can you can dig bricks of it as burnable, burnable biofuel stuff, right? kind of stuff. Yeah, so it's different than in Canada where we're all wet marshy bogs. <laughs> so clay looks clay looks promising to me. Um, so I think for my first action. Uh, I'm going to go on my clay mound and harvest harvest three clay, if I'm understanding that correctly. Mm -hmm. And I'm frantically trying to find my clay. Okay. Can you see that? Nope, that's off the bottom. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to keep playing with where I put my resource. Okay, so I've got three clay. Um, And then I am going to, despite your guidance, <laughs> you're gonna go beat coal kiln. I'm gonna go. Build, Nobody likes the peat coal kiln. Uh, I'm gonna beat build the peat coal kiln. So that's gonna cost me one of my newly acquired clay. It needs to be built on the coast, the plains, or the hillside. So I'm gonna put it on this. I'm gonna put it in this newly acquired hillside that I've uh, I've got, and that is my that is my two actions. So from that building, we get a peat coal, mm -hmm. and we get one money. And, and I can, can flip a... You can. We can. We can <laughs> flip a uh, peat into a peat coal. And peat coal are worth, if we go over here, uh, this peat is worth two energy, and then if you flip it, it's worth three energy. So what are you really trying to do? This is what we haven't really talked about, the raison d'etre in the game. So... 
good stuff. These are your settlements, right? And these are crucial. So you want to make sure that whenever that wheel rolls around to uh, to those settlement phases, when it passes the blue house, that you are in position to build one of these things. So you have to look at the costs of these and make sure that you can hit it by the time it gets there. So, and you know, it depends on which one you want to build. Now the shanty tent is kind of like a crummy hovel that nobody really likes to live in. So it's a negative three value and it, it's like zero zero points when you put it down so we're going to say nuts to that really you want to build something a little bit more you know a little bit more fancy pants well i mean the shanty town no one just wants to live beside right or, like, in. Beside or in or, or in. in yeah right. it's, look at this I thing i mean the, the penalty is for living beside it nobody wants that so yeah we'll see i mean it's <laughs> gonna be it's a lot of food to get to some of those not a shocker for uh for us rosies though no everything needs Everything needs. We're used to it. We're used to having to come up with lots of food and energy. We're used to digging peat. It's the life of a rosy. Um, mm. So, are we back to me then? We are. So, do, 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 did we turn? So did I up? take three clay? I totally cheated. Oh, did you? Nobody in chat caught you, but somehow yeah. they catch me all the time. <laughs> all right. So money and wheat and peat are up to two. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting two money and i've got one money and the sea the coast costs four money so wheel, i don't know if the wheel's in the right <laughs> you pointed out the thing like i'm thinking should we be one oh that's a great question all right so we started after the a so it's my first turn your first turn should have been there for my turn, which is fine. Like so it's, you it's do all get correct. another clay. No, no, oh. it's still on two. Oh, it's still on two. And, and now you go, we're going. you're going there. Perfect. All right, good. Yeah, yeah. That was one of the most annoying things about the game, honestly, keeping <laughs> keeping track of the wheel. And we and I of course said before we weren't going to miss it, and we missed yeah, it. Yeah, we missed it every single. Okay. <laughs> so this means that oh, money's at three, which is a very good thing. So I that I definitely know what I want to do. Then let me look at these cards again just to make sure. Do the yes 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 and yes and that and that and yes oh yeah for sure so this is definitely what i'm going to do i am going to take one of my guys and i'm going to put him on the money space and then i'm going to go over here to the wheel uh, and money is at three so i'm going to move money down to zero and then i'm going to go over here and i'm going to take three money blah 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 uh, money, money, money. Whoop, those are fivers. No, nope, don't do that. <laughs> I switched the pockets that they were in from last night. So, so money, money, money. And then I'm going to pay all four of those money as a bonus thing on my turn in order to build the this guy, the coast, which costs nice. four money. I'm going to put it over here. Nothing fancy like that. And then back here, yay, I finally get to do something cool. I am going to spend two wood and one clay in order to build the false lighthouse, which, as it says at the top, and on the coast, yeah. has to go on the coast. So I'm going to put it on the coast. Probably, hold on. Su to do. Let me think. Let me think. Su to do to do here. I'm not going to explain why I did that. So that's going to cost me two wood and a clay. I'll check them up here. And as a bonus action, I'm allowed to put my yep. my dude on it, Prior, yeah. and it gets me three bucks. And I can either take a beer or a whiskey. And I think at this point in the game, a whiskey is more valuable, so I'm going to take a whiskey. Okay. And I'll that see. is my turn. Yay, I did a thing. Yay. Uh, da -da -boop. And it's you. Very nice. Super nerds. Wait a second. Oh, sup nerds. I thought he called us super nerds. I was really excited. We are also super nerds. But yeah, how's it also, going, Tyler? <laughs> also true. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. If you haven't yet followed Knights Around the Table or <laughs> Nocte Circumensum on Twitch, we are absolving you of your board game sins this evening. So give us a follow and, uh, and we'll tell you what you did wrong and what you can do to fix it. So there's nothing, uh, there's nothing I can build in the mountainside yet, eh? No, that comes up in maybe a, a round or two, a settlement round okay, or two. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I will put my, I will go ahead and I will activate my cloister office 
I'm going to use the wild to get three coins. And I'm probably going to spend those coins in a second. <laughs> Tyler likes her outfits, David. Brother David. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, my outfit was made for me by my lovely wife, Cheryl, about a half an hour ago. And David was here <laughs> while she was doing it. She's incredible. So the false lighthouse is just to make the boat crash and get wood. I don't know. What does it do? It might it's, be. It's like a pirate thing. We were looking at it last night. Yeah. Yeah, basically, basically, the, it's like a pirate thing. The boats crash, and then you take, take their, their money, money and grab their beer <laughs> seems, <laughs> or their whiskey. Seems totally reasonable. So what am I paying? <laughs> two for, it's two for that. Two for that, and I'm guessing it's what? Two still two on the other side? Or? Are we talking about this district up here? Uh, this district here yeah, on the so right. Three, yeah, so two bucks. And you get to pick which side. Are both sides. The same. Okay, they're all. Oh, sorry, bucks. they're not both the same, but they're both the same price. Um, so this will give me two hillsides and three, and this will give me some open spaces. Whoa, sorry, there we go. This is the first time we've run four cameras on a stream, so it's a little bit. Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah, so it can. It has to go immediately above or immediately below either your heartland which is your big main board or another one of those district strips so i think this is legal and i need one i need one forest card mm -hmm. to populate my forest so that was still all my first action now of course i have locked up i have perhaps not very cleverly locked up all my guys which uh <laughs> which is a mistake <laughs> mistakes were made however Yes. However, I yes. don't need, but I don't need a guy to cut the forest. No, you don't. So I will, I will cut that forest. Okay. And avail myself of two wood, and that is my turn. How close are we to? Uh, we are. I go, and then, then it's time. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So now in the two player game, it works a bit different in the three and four player game, but David has locked up all his guys, as he said. At the beginning of either player's turn, if somebody has all three of their guys locked up, they get moved so that David's spaces are available to me. And I'm going to look at them really closely and I will tell you why. Ah, you want to avail I, yourself. I, I might, I might. So this is what's coming up. I'd really like to, since I have the shore, I'd really like to build that fishing, fishing village, village yeah. which costs three energy and eight food. So let's go over to my board and see what I've got going on. That's where I would put it, so i got a space for it. And it's going to activate the dwelling value of the, uh, of the water over here, because who doesn't like living near water? And it will activate the dwelling value of the false lighthouse above it and its own dwelling value, which is going to be a six. All i got to do is come up with eight food and three energy. So let's see what I got going on. I have two, four, six food in sheep, and I have, do I have the three energy? So I'm low, yes, I have the three energy with a peat and a wood. So all I would need to do, oh, two, four, six, and seven if I burned that guy. Or I could just get more sheep. By the way, my guys come back because they're all tied up too. Perfect. Yeah, beautiful. So let me go look at what, uh, what the sheep situation is on the old wheel. We get three sheep. Yeah, the, this is a, this is a 3D printed, uh, Tyler. This is a 3D printed plastic holder. It's pretty it's cool though, right? How cool is it? Uh, yeah, so I think that's super good. I think I'm definitely gonna use my dude to get those three sheep just so that I will have enough, definitely. Do, 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 do. Look at that, looking good. So you're getting another three sheep. Yeah, all right, so let's put that right there. Right there, so sheep goes to zero. Fantastic. So I've got so much sheeps. So again, I'm going to be able to that, do that. Although I would like to get another energy source, and I'd also like to be able to clear this out so that I have a space to go on another side of my fishing village that I'm going to build. You know what I'm saying? So that it'll be able to activate that. So I'm going to probably, with my second action, clear out mm. peat, I Very think. Nice. So that gets me four peat down here. Peat is worth more energy than wood. So let me do that. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're looking, looking, looking strong so far. Hopefully. I don't know where the peat is. There it is. How many did I get? Uh, four peat? Four peat. All right, great. Look at all my things. So now if we go back to the wheel, 
it's your turn so we do this first which triggers a settlement phase so this blue house moves from a to b and it goes to the b with the two player marker on it mm -hmm. yay right so that th that's not step one that's actually step two but i'll forget to do it if i don't do it now so we can kind of like build our settlements simultaneously it doesn't matter okay. but what you can do before you build your settlement is you can build one of these uh districts or or uh, I forget what these are called. These are landscape tiles, anyway. So you can build one or the other yeah, I uh, think, just I think before you I'm place. Okay. You're not going to do it. I so don't think so. You can no. go simultaneously unless these are being built, and then you kind of want to go in turn right. order because again, the price goes up as you buy them, right? So as promised, I'm going to spend eight food and three energy. So sheep, 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 or livestock, 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 livestock. That sorry, fellas, <laughs> you were <laughs> scrumptious. It's very uve, eating sheep, and then the three energy. So it's going to be one wood and two peat gonzo so that I'm not overpaying to build my fishing village. And like I said, now that's going to be worth uh, four points plus another six pl points plus another three points. Pl whoa, plus another drop it on the floor. Fantastic. Yeah, I've decided to put a farming village in at Let's the cost of... Got. I've decided to put a farming village in at the cost of three food and three energy, so we'll... We'll see. No, I wasn't as I wasn't as sheep rich as my <laughs> brother here, so I th I'm sure it'll work out for you. Do you want to show people sort of like how many points that's going to score for you? Um, so I think just right now it's seven, three from the clay mound and four from the cloister. But I've got plans to mm -hmm. got plans to populate other spaces with hopefully more lucrative. Uh, Fantastic. So now a couple other things happen just before you take your next turn. These A cards come out. Now one of them on the top is blue and one of them is red. So you get the red one and I get the blue one. Excellent. And let's take a look at what's on them. We both get the same one. So we both get the artist Artists colony, colony to build in the next settlement phase. So that's going to go in our little collection of settlements to build. Okay, and cool. these are the Glengarry leads. The new buildings come out to the common pool. So these are the new options to build. Now... Because these new buildings are out, I'm going to say that we have made a slight modification to the way the two-player game goes. I was going to mention this later, but I might as well mention it now. Normally, per the rules, the three to four-player game is 25 ticks, sorry, ticks of this wheel. The, the bean goes da 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 and when it gets to the 25th, that's a bonus round, and then you close out the game. In the two-player game, what the official ruling is, is that you go until you've at least passed D, and then it goes into this sort of endless cycle until all but one of the buildings is bought. We played that way, the official way Cheryl and I did last night. And what I found was, and people are giving me a heads up about it on Board Game Geek. Thank you, anonymous people on Board Game Geek. But what I found was it gets into the problem that uh, people complain about terraforming Mars as this problem too, where terraforming Mars will end if you get all these metrics, these three different metrics up to a certain level and then the game's over but there's nothing compelling people to move those metrics. As long as they've got a little engine, a little tablet. As tab long as they out, think their engine's better than somebody else. They can right? just go ding, 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 points, ding, 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 points, ding, 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 points, like turn after turn after turn, and nobody else wants to be left behind. So they're going, don't, 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 points, don't, 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 points, and Mars isn't getting terraformed, right? So it can just like drag on forever. That's what I found this did with that official two-player ruling. So what we're going to do is this. To end the game, this is going to go all the way through blah, 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 A, B, C, D, through those four settlement phases. And then we're going to pick up the blue house and we're going to put it on this space. So it'll end around here. Where is it? D? Hello, D. So it's going to pass here and that's going to trigger these last turns until we get here. And that's going to end it. So we're not going to do this one building left thing because I think that'll get super boring. Yeah, we'll, we'll just end it and it'll be the same for both of us. Exactly. So all right. here we are. So um, it's your turn. Let's yeah, take Tyler, a look at the new buildings. Tyler did ask a question oh. saying, uh, is this the Rosenberg that often gets critiqued for not having enough replay variability? If so, how do you generally feel about that? Oh, don't stop asking questions. That's why you're here. That's and why yeah, you're watching and live. Definitely, and definitely keep asking questions. We love questions. We may not get to them the exact second, but we'll, we'll find a spot. I think that it has the same, I don't know if I want to call it a problem, but the, if you notice, there's no luck in this game. There's no randomness in it. Nothing gets dealt out at random. Those cards that we just pulled out are always the cards that come out. So you, you kind of treat it more like a puzzle, right? If you're playing solo 
and you take a certain number of actions to get over 500 points, if you take those exact same actions the next time you play solo and you're able to, you'll get the exact same score. Nothing whatsoever will change. So it is sort of like a solvable game, like if that makes sense. Like if you know um, mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. games are solved, like Connect 4 is solved. There's a way that you play that every single time and you will always win and there's no reason not to play it that way. There's an, it's kind of like an algorithm that you can follow. And this game is that. So if you're okay with buying like what is effectively just a really complicated logic or jigsaw puzzle where the joy if you're playing solo is to find out what specific algorithms, like you're designing the algorithm to go through and play it as perfectly as possible, then uh, no problem. But if you don't like the idea that once you find the optimal path through the game solo or even multiplayer, that's it, there's no more joy in the game for you, then it might not be your bag. But if you're the type of board game player who's just like, ah, oh, I, I was cheated because the cards I wanted never came out or the, the dice numbers I wanted were never rolled, then this might be more comforting to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So here's what's on offer. The new buildings are over here and here. We got a slaughterhouse, which that takes sounds... sheep and hay. You take a sheep and feed it hay X number of times, as many times as you want, and you can make meat. Yeah. What's the big deal with meat? Well, a sheep, a livestock, has a two food value. If you turn it into meat, a it's five a five value. value. Wow, okay. look at that. And then um, what else is there? So I've got I've got all my guys back. I'm looking at these new buildings. I'm looking at what's looking at what's sort of most lucrative for me to grab from the uh, from the common market for sure. Um, and I also got to think of my I've also got to think of my various um, buildings here so I think what I want to do is I will put a layperson my regular worker on the farmyard and send him to collect some of this lovely green so that looks like I'm going to be getting five green from that and then I think I'm going to build a building leveraging my newfound green wealth uh, <laughs> which is going to be the strict term. So I can, I believe I can flip this as a... Let's see on camera here. What sorry. Are you flipping? So I yeah, understand that flip. I can flip my... Just that, that just that type though. Into that. Okay, yep. so I'm going to do that, which is that one. I should figure out what the names of these things are so I don't call them <laughs> this and that. Straw, anyways, you're flipping a wheat into straw. And then I am going to pay a wood and a straw to grab the scriptorum that can go in the coast plains or hillside i will put it in the hillside it has to be adjacent to my does. Uh, rest of my cloisters and i will throw it what does it do you pay a buck in order to get pay a buck to once to get a book a meat and a whiskey which seems really good so i'm going to activate that and i'm going to i'm going to get all of that whiskey meat the book, I think, is on the back of the gold. There we go. All right. Looks like the book is just straight two points. It's so, straight I mean, two that points, seems, yeah. That and seems then, good. As we go, and, like, obviously, the better, more expensive and more powerful buildings come out, the more you go around and trigger these settlement phases. And some of them are like, well, if you trade in a book and one of these and one of these and one of these, you get all this stuff. You know what I mean? So there's little recipes, I guess, little crafting things where you can get mega points. You can build, do uh, you want to show them a wonder, mm -hmm. David? Uh, wonder tile yeah so eventually you can get up to building these huge 30 point suckers called wonders there's eight of them in the game and they're limited right so we're going to see some buildings come out in the second last and the last settlement phase that'll let us build those very exciting yeah Depending it's on an what interesting you yeah just a couple <laughs> of comments there about uh, variability versus reliability and it is like it is definitely an interesting piece i mean i think i think certainly there's i mean we haven't used each other's buildings and done stuff like that but i would say as you got more experience when you're playing the multiplayer game there's a lot of ability to sort of <laughs> mess with other people's sandcastles so to speak right mm -hmm. you can grab the buildings they want you can grab the resources from the uh from the wheel that they want you can use their building that you, you're thinking that they may want to use so i think there's also that there's that extra layer when you play the multiplayer piece that takes that puzzle, which it definitely is, and kind of adds that little extra. You may not get to do 
your strategy exactly every time. So I think that's also interesting too. Mm -hmm. uh, whose turn is it? Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's a great point. Like the, pe <laughs> the people are the variability. So mm -hmm. in, in one player, yeah, you can, you can go through and if you find the optimal path, that's never gonna change. But I mean, getting there, like you gotta score, like a, you gotta score 500 points. I scored 252 or something last night. So getting there might take you a little bit. I mean, <laughs> that too, yeah. Not know. not something you're opening the box and just no, 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 no. finding the right. So yeah, I, it's not like the first time you're going to play. You'd be like, mm, 600 points. That game's easy. Come on, give me a break. So I have advanced the marker. Second player is up. So at least we're at least we're following the turns right, and you are. You Let's are good see to go. Then. Let's see. Well, again, like strategy-wise, kind of what you want to do is sort of look ahead to what you want to build. So if I wanted to build, for example, that artist colony I think is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's worth negative one point by its yellow shield, but it's worth five. A little bit to build, yeah. By dwelling it. And kind of where you want to dwelling it is up here. Now, the way they work, you might want to know if they are beside each other, what happens. I'll show you two, two examples of what happens with this scoring. So if they're beside each other, um, this is worth negative one point, and it's worth five points now that it is acting as a dwelling, right? So four points, and it activates this, which is worth... I'm just going to do the red points, actually, because I'm going to confuse myself. So it's worth five points, and it activates this, which is worth six points. So it does activate other settlements next to it, so it's worth 11 points. And then this activates it as well reciprocally and the one above it so this is worth six points and five points is 11 plus another five points on the top is 16 right so it does have like a reciprocal uh, relationship the other thing that i wanted to show you i'm just going to steal a card from the middle of the table i'll put it back i promise if you had this situation going on again it's reciprocal so this settlement would activate this and itself and the fishing village would activate itself and the sacred site in the middle so they both you know that you double dip with points is what i'm trying to say that makes sense? I hope so. I'm not going to explain it again. Uh, so I'm going to need five food and one thing to doodle, one energy. So if I hang on to my sheep, I should be good. Or if I start doing some slaughterhousey stuff, I'm going to put my artist calling in there. Slaughterhouse, looking pretty good to me. That's what Cheryl did, man. She went with a slaughterhouse. But she started she, murdering, well, murdering yeah, animals. Yeah, she did. But I don't have any wood. Look at this. I only have peat. Uh, to spend, I don't have any wood to spend. I do have one of these though, so I could use your, let's see what Dave's, <laughs> what Brother David's got. Brother David's got the pea coal kiln, boo, I hate it. Spend a buck to get him, yeah, that's okay. I'd have to spend three bucks because I'd be paying him. Oh yeah, and then there's that three of anything for six of whatever you want. Yeah, I've got that one. Ooh, very compelling. Very compelling. Yeah, I used it. I used it for the big combo once, and now I'm sort of regretting not. You know what's funny? <laughs> not doing it again, right? Your first two moves were exactly the first two moves I did in my first. Two oh, moves okay, there. gotcha. Interestingly. Yeah. Yeah, it just. Seems I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's like opening. Yeah, like official chess. sort of opening yeah, moves. Yeah, yeah. totally. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that slaughterhouse. That slaughterhouse is looking pretty, pretty interesting. The malt house, not so much. The stone merchants. When do we get stone next? No, it has to go like all the way around. It has to go so all next, the way to spin? boom. Okay. Yeah. So, so, but this Neat. is this building here is sort of a way to like get the jump on that. You know what I mean? So there will be buildings that straight up give you stone. Oh, thank you. There will be buildings that straight yeah, up give you stone, merchant, and yeah. this is a way to, tr to trade in for stone. Oh, sorry, I'm distracting your... No problem. I'm thinking, I'm thinking hard. The house was interesting because it's got, a, it's got a six dwelling eventually, but like I say, the, uh, the, the coast gives you three dwelling points. So you're, the rule book makes note of the fact that you're covering up those dwelling points by using the house vote. Yeah, it does, that, is a, that is a good point, Tyler. The, the custom art for each particular one, like especially the comments that were made earlier about that false lighthouse and what that would look like. So yeah, that is a really nice, that is a really nice touch to this game. I haven't played Neusfjord. I'm probably saying that wrong. Neusfjord. <laughs> no, I think you got it right. It's Neusfjord. <laughs> I learned all my Swedish from the chef. So uh, the cloister works. <laughs> I'm making David uncomfortable. Uh, the, the, uh, cloister. Yeah, excellent. The cloister <laughs> workshop. Yeah, if there's anybody who speaks Swedish on the chat, please correct us. Correct me. <laughs> it's not David's fault. Three bucks. Uh, oh, yeah, that's what, this one. Look, you pay 
you build it fine you pay clay oh this is what and i didn't energy. like about it though but you got to pay the energy, energy in order to turn for each into for each these, one but these yeah. are worth points right so i i was like you're burning stuff for points cranking basically. up yeah i was cranking up points last night but i don't know if i like it i don't know if i like it i think the slaughterhouse is still a better plan but i don't have the stuff to get the slaughterhouse oh well, we've got Got a fair amount of clay, but everything else has been sort of uh But that would take two moves here. to get the slaughterhouse. I don't want to spend two moves doing something. Hmm. I think that... I think that the stone... Ah, the stone march is not worth any points. That's the <laughs> thing. What's worth points? I, that's what I should be looking at. Well, the stone the merchant work. builds stuff that is worth points. It does like build the brewery stuff that's is, worth points. The brewery is nine points just to... Just to drop it on the table, which is well, seven points, and then two extra if you're able to activate it. Well, the top. What's the top one? Oh, I'm sorry, the brewery. I was looking at the. Uh, yeah. Yep, you're right. I was looking at the cloister workshop. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Now the big, the big question is where do you put it? Hmm. Here's what I got going on. Here's what I got going on. It is kind of nice. That there. It's, a nice, it's a nice looking village. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? Uh, but I would need a wood, and I don't have a wood. Uh, but I could get a wood. Wood's at two. Clay's at four, though. Really, what I should be doing responsibly, responsibly, <laughs> even though I don't even want clay, and I don't know what I'm going to be doing with it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that, and I'm going to go take the clay and put it at zero and take four clay. Startsies. That's good. One, two, three, four. I guess. Uh, my sleeve, my big monk sleeve is messing up my entire board. One, two, three, four. Clay is dangerous to, to grab from the old bin. We're using, um, do you ever use Plano boxes to store your stuff? I find with a lot of Uve games, before I had a 3D printer, these were crucial. I don't really like them. They're not perfect. Here's what they look like. Because mm -hmm. even though they're made out of plastic, they're like fishing tackle boxes, so they're made to be modular. You can move these little walls around. But trying to dig things out, you're going against a right angle, and these are right angle pieces, so they don't come out as well. I find with 3D printed stuff, you can design it or you can get a design that has a scooped bottom and so it's really easy you don't yeah, need really to, nice. to dig in and it comes out really beautifully so i think it's a step up from baggies which is all you get with uv rosenberg games is like a million baggies but it's uh you go 3d printer and uh, that's the way to do it yeah i definitely i definitely have it for gloomhaven um because that has like the, the, the plano box yeah, oh yeah, there's like a thousand bits in it. So oh if you gosh. don't have it, you're going to be spending 45 minutes on your setup. But um, yeah, I just grabbed some. I grabbed some cheap kind of like scoop bottom plastic containers, which are okay if there's only six. So. Yeah. So, I'm going to I'm going to do the following. I'm going to uh, clear the forest. Okay. Clear the forest. Clear out your area there. I guess so. Uh, wait, it's at two, but money is at three. Get back there, forest. So there's money to be had. Oh, but if I build something, oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on. If I build something, I can use my. Uh, you my, got your prior my man back. in the hat. The malt house. I don't want it though. I don't want the malt house, Davy. I don't want it. I don't want any of this. What is the malt? What does the malt do? It makes beer. And then later on, you can trade in beer and whiskey for, for things. Gotcha. I just, I I just don't, even don't see the malt. It. I don't even see the malt tiles. If I go for the wood, I won't have enough wood. And the joker is at two as well. Oh, decisions, Dave. Decisions. Do I have two money to pay you? I do. Ho, ho, ho. It's only one money, isn't it? It's one money right now. Oh, that's super cheap. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay you a money. Here you go. Have some money. Thank you, sir. And let's look at your Thank board. Thank you for your patronage. So I would like you to take a person and put it on that old trade three for six things. Yes. So now. Three different. Back, three different goods. Three different goods. All right. So now back to me. Let's see. Three different things. So I know I can do like peat would be fine. And I think I can get rid of a clay safely. Eh, maybe not, eh? Uh, I'll do one of these suckers, one of these wheats. And I'll do... Mm, What's the last one? I guess it's going to have to be a clay. I guess it's going to have to be a clay. You know what? Give me my money back. No, no, no. Don't give me my money back. Oh, I'm thinking about getting rid of that. No, I should hang on to that. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get these three are gone. And for that, I'm going to get six wood. How do you like that? Very nice. Better than two. For sure. 
So I think that's my turn. That so is it took so too, long. Yeah. Back to me. So what's lucrative? Gold is at four. Cheese is at three. Or the eco oh, first. Cheese. Sorry. It looks like kind of like a slice of. It does. It's like it's a, a little wheel of like Emmental or something. Yeah. Um, stone merchant is nice. Wouldn't mind. Wouldn't mind getting some coastal tiles. I think that could be. But then I've got a lot to clear to get there. Would, would you mind if we uh, flip over to your board quickly, yeah, sure. just to see if I have Look at the panoply of delicious actions? You, you, could, you have one guy, right? I do. You could go to the false, false lighthouse, lighthouse and wreck a yeah, ship, and that's what I was thinking take the wreckage. About. You could go money. Those are the only two really I have going on. I've not built many buildings. No. Okay. Um, I think I probably. Oh no, I got to pull my guys back. Because you put my third guy out, so I at did. the start of my turn, I can that's put right. my guys back. So that's good. Um, I'm going to use my cloister courtyard. Going to flip grain to straw to trade in grain, straw, and a coin. So that's my three different goods. And I will take, I will also take six wood. Hmm. Now it's a wood race. What's going on? What? I just don't have any wood, so I, I feel like, I feel like not having wood is somehow turn bad. Turn to my turn. Woods at four right now. Nope, I because. still have. Oh, you still have one more thing to do. Yeah, I'm I so got sorry. one more thing. Back it goes. Yeah, that was just the singular action. All right, let's. Um, where am I going to put the stone merchant? He's not. He's not too friendly to his neighbors. You're buying a stone merchant, you jerk. Um, I will spend the one wood. One wood to buy the stone merchant. The last. Uh, it needs to go in coast, plains, or hillside. These are the plains, right? The green. Poppy thinks the wheel resource counter is super clever. I think so too. Yeah, it's, it's it is pretty neat. Um, and I'm gonna use my prior to activate it. up to five times. I think I'm just going to activate it three times, which means I need six food and how close are we to the settlement phase? We've got a few turns. Yeah, we're going to go me, you, me, you, me. Okay, so I'm going to put me, you, me, you. Gonna put three wood in the going to put three wood in the fire. Going to put six food in to get myself three stone. And now it is your turn. Very nice. And now you've tied it up so I can't do it. <laughs> I see what you're trying to pull, now where, brother, David. Where is the stone? The stone is the flip side of the, um, the, these, no, these ones, I think, no, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah. it is. Oh, good. It okay, is, good. yeah. <laughs> There's just, I mixed a clay in there by mistake. No problem, no problem. All right, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's going on here in, uh, you know, good old Orion Cloisterland? Let's find out what is available. What is available? Cloister workshop. What did I just do? I got a bunch of wood, so I could build the slaughterhouse. The thing is, the dwelling value of the slaughterhouse is quite low. People somehow <laughs> don't like living next to a slaughterhouse. I don't know why. I can't explain it. Well, have you ever been to uh, ever been to Kitchener Waterloo <laughs> oh, in the Schneider's oh, plant? So hold on. I will tell you, you why. You, I can't. I can't do a silly Swedish accent, but you you can slag off Kitchener Waterloo while you're like. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I have been to Kitchener Waterloo. I know exactly. And I used to actually work in uh, the carpet factory buildings in Liberty Village in Toronto. And that was like, yeah, and, that's yeah, not good. Every either. so often on a Friday afternoon, you'd smell some very sad pigs. Oh, and you know what? The next job after that I had in Toronto was up in uh, in the in the junction where they have a bunch of slaughterhouses. And they, every morning there'd be vegans protesting with their signs and everything. So it was a big mm -hmm. it's a big mm -hmm. deal. It seemed like slaughterhouses followed me wherever I went. I don't know what the deal is with that. Remember in uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy when Arthur Dent became a weather lord? I, I, I'm like that, but with slaughterhouses. No. This well, this, so this is this is <laughs> going to be the embarrassing part of the stream where I admit I have never read <gasps> a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 
So I'm not going to be like the guy like, oh, my God, how dare you? I'm more like the guy like, oh, I, I envy you that you'll, you've never read one. So you get to read them for I the get very to read first it time. For the first time. Oh, no, my gosh. That's fair. I will. I will. You books. know what? I will have to do that because <laughs> it's probably came up. Somebody at work made the reference. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get there. They're fantastic. We'll see. We'll see if Ryan then boots me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hand in your me, nerd card. Just boots me from the stream, and and that's the end of it. Um, did oh, look, you... we lost connection, brother David. No, we're good. Uh, let me see. Let me see. What the happened? way he values stone in the game and Agricola is neat. It's much harder to get than wood or clay for sure. Super rare. But yeah, Uve's got a thing. He's got a thing for sheep. You know, <laughs> yeah. sheep for him are you know the dime a dozen, and then stone is just like the most precious thing. Like, he reveres stone, and sheep like, ah, stupid sheep, get out of my way. It's kind of weird. Uh, great. Slaughterhouse, speaking of sheep, get out of my way. Sheep, get in my belly. I've lost the plot a little bit. What I should do is regroup and look at what I'm trying to accomplish by the time that settlement phase comes. Because I'm, I just, have, I'm just building buildings. I have one turn, two turns. So it's me, David, me, David. So I have two turns in order to get my act together to build one of these suckers. And the sucker that I'm probably going to want to build, I guess you kind of want to go for the higher value stuff first. So seven food. Seven food. But my guys are all tied up, so I can't do my little sheepy thing. And sheep are only worth three anyway. The joker's at four. Hmm. So it might not be that. It might have to be the farming village, which is a really low scoring thing, but... Really low scoring. Yeah, I haven't fully planned out my... But there are worse things, I think. So I think uh, in the name of doing that, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to... What's what's Pete looking like? Three? Uh, yeah, it's three. Well, or four, or four. four if you use the Joker. Four if you use the Joker. And money's at four. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Pete and money. So four money and four, sorry, back to the wheel. Four money and four Pete, I think, is what the situation okay. warrants. And you might think, well, that doesn't just do a, anything for just you. Just a right? resource gathering I am, turn Yeah, there. I'm just sort of shoring up my, uh, my defenses here, getting awesome. my war chest going. So four money. Okay. So back to you if you want to spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. I am first. All right, so I think I'm going to cut Pete as well. Um, going to cut some Pete as well. That's also going to give me. That's also going to give me four Pete, and I've closed my Plano box, which is <laughs> super useless. I almost feel like like I bought this Pete kiln. And now I don't really want to use it, but I feel because I bought it. <laughs> I did that with a few buildings. I in the almost last should. Night. That's why I'm being I more judicious. I almost should use it. So, I mean, it's it's four. I mean, it was four points. Uh, it was four points. I mean, it's not. So uh, what I so change. So probably my decision is really between. Um, I think my decision is between the scriptorium, which is certainly nice. Um, to grab, you know, just a bunch of food for some money. Um, how many turns do I have? Will I have a turn before the settlement? You get two more turns. So let's take a look at the wheel. So this is you here, then me, then you. Okay. And, and then, then settlement time. Okay, good. So, um, <laughs> brother Warchest, what are you doing with all that uranium? <laughs> oh, hold on. That's what I've got going on. Woo! All right. Stockpiling, stockpiling for the apocalypse. <laughs> the Uve apocalypse. Uve apocalypse. That's funny. I can get some of that. Would you like to see that. what I have on offer on my properties, brother sure. David? Let me take all my people back because yes, they're occupying have. it. So you can get three bucks and a. And That's a really the boost. only unique building. That it you is. Have. Yes, you're right. So you're right. I haven't built very much. At I all. don't think. I think I probably have. Maybe in the long term, a better way to get coins. Um, I think, and what are the reasons? Wood is pretty profitable. You know, cutting a forest seems like a waste, though. Four. There is a building that comes up later in the game that rewards you for uncut forests of peat bogs. Uh, 
I bought it. I bought it, so I'm going to use it. So I get that, and I get a single coin. And additionally, you're going to flip one of your. Or so does this mean? Does this mean once, or does this mean? Does it have a number on it? It does not have a number on it. I think then then it means. Give me the name of the building again, and we'll check the index. Well, it's, it does say. Uh, the peat coal kiln is G07. It does say on here additionally one peat to one peat coal. Hmm. I think it's just a one time, despite it not having the they right should have iconography on it. on it. Flip as many peat tiles as you want over to their peat coal side. Well, why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you do that? I mean, unless I need peat to build a building, which it doesn't look like. Okay. Well, there you go. Wow, now that's it worked. Handy. I have like 15 energy. Holy crap. No Good food. Know. You got no food, but got 15 no energy. <laughs> got no food. <laughs> All right, okay, you, cool. are, you were up. We're on the top. So this is my last turn before it's settlement time. And I, Mine's just a pirate in monk's my clothing. Buildings, <laughs> my buildings are all available for your I'm also going to humble build patronage. I'm going to build the brothel, which, as you know, just belongs on a dice. I, the Falls Lighthouse, it's kind of like thematically weird, isn't it? Like, is that was that a thing in the Middle Ages? Like, I've ha -ha. never heard. <laughs> this, this is the first mention of a false lighthouse. In, in the I name mean, of the Lord, let's, let's smash some ships on these rocks. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. Maybe if you could hit Wikipedia <laughs> chat Ryan, and let us Ryan know. Ryan is just a pirate in Monk's clothing. Exactly. Yeah, basically. Exactly. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I built, like, nothing interesting. And I need, again, eyes on the prize. I'm trying to build that. Uh, you need some engine. You need some engine parts Yeah, here. I'll get there. I'll get there. <laughs> I'll get there. It's fine. Seven food for the market town would be nice to have. And I've got four food. And I'm unlikely to get four, two, four, six, eight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I do sheep, if I do sheep, it's good. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to get, I'm going to move the wheel, and I'm going to put the sheep on zero, and I'm going to get four sheep. Nice. And each sheep is worth two. One, two, three, four. Now, really, is that what I'm going to do? I think it is. And then... No, it's not what I'm going to do. No, unsheep, unsheep, unsheep. Which four was he on? He's on this one. Floops, right? Yep. No, no, no. No, what I'm going to do instead is I am going to get four grain. Four grain. So let's, uh, let's grain it up here. So grain's going to go on zero. One. My monk sleeves are in the way. It was such a good idea at first. Yeah. Uh. One, yeah, two, fractal. That is, um, yeah. The the 3D. I mean, one thing I was really worried about before the stream. I didn't know Ryan had this 3D printed thing. Is that we were gonna like knock the wheel into oblivion frequently, and <laughs> it is not a danger at all. This is a really really nice. And then, uh, ben, oh, who we got? Who we got? Oh, say the name. I can't say. That's it. Devin K on YouTube. Okay, Devin. Uh, we'll take a. We'll take a cookie. We'll take it. Yes, we will. So, uh, Devin, thank you very much for following on Twitch. Uh, you're here to confess your board game sins, which, uh, if my records are correct, you con you, you've admitted it was uh, uh, stealing money and or resources from the general supply. Oh, my gosh, Devin, that's a no-no in board game land. That is so, a big no-no. But it's good that you brought us to, to us and, and Father Uwe. Uh, we, we can issue some penance for Devin uh, in order to, to get right with the relationship with, with Uwe. What what's up oh wait we have to don't we have to yes we have to spin the penance we picker can, 900 we should do the penance picker here I we think. go all right penance picker pick a game great western, great western trail. trail okay i'm gonna have to lean on ryan a bit all for right, a part here, of this I but this. um so great western trail you need to speak when you next time you're playing to absolve yourself you need to speak the entire game in your best southern drawl so, for example, uh, bless your heart, or yeehaw, or there's a snake in my boots, or the Civil War was about states' rights. For example, for, those are just some examples of how... You, you, you can use your own examples. Yeah, fill in sure. your own, but use that's, that's, your own that's the idea. Uh, great. Thank you again so much for the follow. <laughs> oh, uh, unfortunately, uh, Poppy set a marker for the Penance Picker 9000. Uh, the Penance Picker is actually the Penance Picker 900 because it is medieval, and they didn't quite... I hadn't figured out how to count up to a thousand at that point, so it's the penance picker. 
All right, I'll correct it later. Don't worry about it. But thank, thank you for the marker. Thank though. you for the marker. Uh, Poppy did have another question. Mm, what was the question? Does this feel like a sandbox, even though there is a solution? Um, I'm going to answer this one first. Go for it. Because you got the other one first. Uh, I'm going to say yes. I mean, a little bit. There's definitely tons of options and tons of ways you can go. So I guess I would see a sandbox as something like you know where you're if you're not not a, if not a sandbox you're guided towards certain things like you have to get this much or you have to build this to do that right um i think here and there's a ton of resources i mean all of them can be used for different purposes so i would say yes at least a little bit i mean it's maybe not truly a sandbox in the sense that there aren't like six different things you can go off and do i mean all the things you are doing are getting resources but You've got a lot of variety, at least in my opinion, to uh, to grabbing those resources. And if I can be more prescriptive about it, I think that I would consider a sandbox game more something where there's a map and there's systems, almost like our universe has like a physics system. You know what I mean? Like there's laws, there's the law of gravity, and nothing can go faster than the speed of light. So there's there's like rules governing that arena. And then you just go and do whatever you want. Gotcha. Yeah, like David says, there's like you can do this or this or this. Whereas with a sandbox, it's like you can do this or this or this or this or this or this or this. And within this, you can do it this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And there's a lot more possibility. I think this is a little bit more tighter, more tight. It is Uve after all. What's going to happen is this. I just figured it out while we were answering that question. Check it out. Awesome. Uh, this slaughter house is going to be a thing. So I'm going to pay what yeah, is that? Sorry, two, I forgot. two wood and two clay. Yeah, I'm still in the middle we of, were uh, playing a game. of my. <laughs> that happens. It it's, happens sometimes. It's easy. We, it's easy. The chat. The chat is asking very interesting questions, they are. and we're getting engaged. They're so. clever folks. So that slaughter house. Now this is tricky, right? Because it's worth yeah, eight you. points, but negative three. Uh, additionally, negative three. If I activate it with a settlement. So I think. I think it's gonna go up there because I think I can settle here and have something here and it won't get touched and then I'm going to settle here. Yeah, I think that's the right place for it. And then since I have my special man in a hat, my prior, I'm going to pop him on there and it lets me as many times as I want trade sheep and wheat. Now I have no, sorry, not wheat, uh, hay. I have no hay but uh, one of my sort of like extra actional things I can do is I can just flip my wheat to hay at any time. So I'm going to feed these sheep some hay and haha, you suckers fell for it and now you've been flipped to meat. <laughs> Baha. Da, 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 da. Now wait, was that the best? Was that really the best plan? That means that I'm going to be overpaying, overpaying for stuff. Ah, that's okay, but I could build the artist colony instead, so it's fine. It's fine. I'm happy about that. I think that's good. good. I think it's good. Yeah, I'm happy. So that was my turn. Why don't we move the beam? Move the beam. There we go. So this is David's final turn before final we go turn into before the settlement phase. So I've got. Got enough to buy another thing, which could be good. Because if I want to also build that, if I want to also build that fishing village, um, but I'm way short on food. I have tons of energy, so what do I do? <laughs> this is where I got to figure out what the heck do I do with energy? Can you convert energy into food? That's kind of a tough sell, eh? Yeah, that is a tough sell for sure. Um, looks like the cloister workshop is a good one because we're just sort of melting down our stuff so that could be interesting um, I don't really have the stuff to make that though and I don't even have a spot to put it so that's not great um, what I am gonna do though is I will build I will spend one of my stone um, and I will build the sacred site yeah good idea I'm gonna throw that right next to my farming village to get that nice little uh, sort of adjacency bonus I'm gonna drop my prior on there. Uh, I'm gonna take, get a book. And then I believe I'm reading this correctly. I either get two uh, green or two malt. Where is the malt? The malt is on the other side of the beer. So the sort of like the lower beer. left side of your, oh, you've turned your box. You've rotated it, so Got it. middle okay. right. <laughs> oh, and malt is, the malt is actually food. That's interesting. Mm. Yeah, um, you can eat malt. I don't know if you'd want to, but you can eat malt. And then I believe I also get a beer or, this is quite the sacred site. What it are is. they, what are they doing down here? <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of, well, it's like a picture of Stonehenge. So there's a little bit of dancing some around. Some dancing and some druid uh, <laughs> beer brewing, I guess. There's a, there's another building later in the game that's similar to that where 
you that's the one that gives you uh, points. I said for all the forests you still have. So it's basically like you spend booze and then like get points for all the forests. So maybe like, basically you throw like a big bacchanal. I think. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also gonna do this and build the brewery because I'm. This crazy. is still only two things. I hope. Yeah, I did the prior. I did okay. the prior thing. Right. I'm trying to make the u most use of my prior because if combo games have told me anything or taught me anything, try to activate your combos as much as possible. Now I won't be, I will not be able to activate the brewery because I've already, you got your, heat I've already that. allocated my prior. So that, that is, you've got a, you've got a summit fully surrounded. Quite nice. I don't have that yet. Look at what I've got. I've barely even built anything on my thing versus look at this noise. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, well, back to the wheel. So now it is settlement time. Settlement time. Settlement so I'm going to move this, and I'm going to move this over to C, two players. So that's where the next settlement phase happens. So we both get to build basically simultaneously, unless you're going to build one of these district tiles. Are you interested? Um, I don't think so because I might have liked to have gotten a coast to build the fishing village, but unfortunately. Um, Unfortunately, I don't. I am one coin short, and uh, I am not able to do that. Unfortunately, me, so I, I am going to build the awesome. village. Yeah, so let me go over here, and I'm going to have to scoot everything up just a little bit. Are we still in frame? Yes, we are. Hooray! Somehow we've managed it. So I like the yeah, it's, uh, just just barely, but just barely. I'm going to have to pull out the camera in a little bit, but I hope you've. Hope you guys in chat have been able to like read the cards okay so far, and it's been uh, it's worked. It looks it's worked for looks you. pretty readable to me, but okay. So what do I want to build? I don't really want to build the shanty town. So the the middle like the middle points on the artist colony say do activate themselves, right? Yes, uh, but if you have this is an interesting thing. If you have one like the crummy. The crummy shanty town that's worth a negative three. If you manage to stick it somewhere where it's not adjacent to anything, you don't lose those dwelling points. It just doesn't activate itself. It only activates itself in its positive score. The negative three you don't lose if it's okay. Cool. Uh, you know, um, so I'll build the artist colony. I'm gonna use gonna fuel that with some beer <laughs> uh, let me get over and there. some peat logs. And I put it up there, so I'm leveraging the brewery and the sacred site there. So I think that's a nice. And I'm going to do the same nice thing. Nice little combo. So I've built the artist colony here. Okay. Next to the lighthouse. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you're setting up for a nice big... Uh, I'm trying. A nice big point drop there. I'm trying. Doing my best. In the battle of the wheels, who reigns supreme? <laughs> Penance picker 900 or the resource wheel? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. All right. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we moved it, right? It's your player one. So it's your turn. Uh, Is that correct? Nope, we're on the. Nope, go back. Oh, right, right. We flip it to the. Aren't you glad we have that token? Oh my gosh! I'm glad. I even did it in like. So now for the uh, for the number pickers, you're looking at the bottom half of that fraction, right? So now we should be on player two, who is me, and we are. So here we go. Here right. we are, and the B cards come out. So Ooh, that means okay, that awesome. it gets I get both another, of us. I get another. Place. And why don't we check out what it is? It's the whoa, the Hamlet. The Hamlet. What's the Hamlet? Very nice. Yeah, it costs six energy. And oh, five there's food. there's some energy I can spend. No, so I'm, fantastic. I'm happy about that. So I'll put that in my collection. And meanwhile, the new buildings are the shipyard. Okay. Oh, thank goodness I built some more coast. The quarry. This is the one that gets you stone, but stone still is not available in the game. It's still hanging out here on the outside of the wheel. And it won't be available until... You could use the Joker, though, You right? could use the Joker, yes. I believe so. Correct us if we're wrong in chat if you could. I'm not an expert, super expert yet. Oh, and that's a mountain. That's the first... Yeah, it has to go on a mountain. the first mountain I've seen. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. That was it, eh? We've got... That's all we got. It's got only the chapel. chapel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you can Shuffle. turn beer and whiskey into something. Into a reliquary, which That's is like uh, the finger bone of a saint, supposedly. Uh, Not going to ask how that comes from beer and whiskey, I guess. But <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah. How do. Oh, I think. Okay. So there's some. I think there's some. 
maybe not so subtle satire going on in the game <laughs> um, with the the false lighthouse and the the drunken bacchanal of the forest and even the whole like offering booze to your to your host in order to use the buildings for free so i think what's happening with this with this beer oh, we're bribing the we're bribing the old village abbot for his uh, i don't see it like <laughs> that i think or, like oh, okay. i read a series of books called the uh the shard lake series and they were um monastic murder mysteries or medieval murder mysteries right okay. so the first one takes place in a monastery and one of the very first things they say off the top of the book in the very first chapter is uh it's thomas thomas cromwell i think who was a big heavy in the uh, right when the church of england was being formed and they were kicking all the catholic churches out of england because the church of england was taking over as the the seat of power and religion in england and uh so he was complaining because he had piled on his desk all these all these relics and reliquaries so a reliquary is like a box that contains a body part of a saint supposedly right, right. and then the relics are all like oh this is this is a splinter from the from jesus's cross and this was a a, a lock of hair from mary and this was <laughs> oh this was joseph's this was his mug and all this sort of stuff right and so it's like you know, it's like, well, this is the fifth Joseph's mug I've seen this afternoon, kind of thing, right? So maybe, maybe that's what's going on with these, uh, with like, right. no, we'll, we'll down a couple of uh, brewskis and like, hey, look, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a precious <laughs> artifact that represents something in the church. Uh -huh. Maybe. Um, so Pop Poppy did ask a question about the building, uh, the building sort of area or availability. So the buildings. Even though there's may even be starter buildings or A buildings or B buildings, they do not get cleared um, as you go through the rounds. They're just always there and available to build because you may very well need those buildings to kind of get to later buildings. And one thing I should mention, Poppy, if you're planning to play this solo, uh, a few rules change for sure. sure. You're, you actually you have to set up like a dummy player, and that dummy player. Um, so it's different in, in a in a one player game. The unbuilt stuff in a one-player game, you take and put it on the dummy player's board. And you think, well, so anything you don't build, the dummy gets, which you then get to use, but use you have to pay the dummy payment, in order right. to use it. But what's interesting about it is that if there's no space left in the dummy's uh, area, you actually, like, picture this was all full, you actually start overbuilding. So you put buildings on top of buildings, and then that makes buildings unavailable anymore. Like, you can't yeah, even okay. play on them anymore. So good question, and it, like it's di like it's different in three and four players versus two players versus one player, which is the fun of <laughs> this game. <laughs> fun of going through those four um, rule books. I believe. Oh. I believe that may need to flip. Not quite yet, but you're close. So this means that it costs a buck to rent each other's buildings, and it's not going to flip until the whiskey distillery gets. Canceled. Oh, the whiskey! Oh, I thought so it was the brewery. That's my it. mistake. Okay. Yeah, no Thank problem. You. So as soon as one of us builds that, now it becomes a more expensive rent. But we haven't done much renting in our game. No, anyway. we haven't really. Let me see what you got again. So I you've got, got stuff. You've got the thing that turns peat into more valuable energy. You've got something that gets you a book and a beer or a whiskey and a malt. You've got what else have you got? You got turn the malt and the wheat into more beer. And then turn the beer into money. Where's the turn the beer into money? The. Uh, Oh yeah, sure. one time. Right? One time you can yeah. sort of seven. Bucks. Some of it you're going to drink, and some of it you're going to sell. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. What's going on in the wheel? Six, six wood is the best thing you got going on in the wheel. What's going on in my sad-looking diocese? Let's take a look. Um, <laughs> definitely, I want to try to get a building here so that both of these buildings activate it. And so I kind of want to build up this area. And to do that. Well, let's see. And then the uh, the hamlet was the building that came out. So six energy, five food. I do have the five food. Oh, and I do have the six energy. So I could totally get the hamlet going like down here. But I'm going to need to build a, di a better, uh, a different district board and do that. I'm going to need a little bit, a bit of money. So money's a thing to consider. Money's a thing to consider. So maybe one more buck would do me good. Even though I could, this is one of the other like bonus things that I didn't mention that you can do on your turn. If you've got booze, you can sell it. So if you got whiskey, you can sell it for, for two bucks. Two yeah. bucks, no problem. Yeah, I could have. I could have actually built or bought a thing, but it doesn't. It's not changing. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So let me let me take a closer look at these buildings and see what the options are here. The houseboat, eh? Don't like it. Sorry, yeah, that's touch my mic for a second and make sure that it's in in the pocket. I'm yeah, that's in the, the houseboat. The houseboat is an initial building, so. The, the imaginative art. Can I? 
I should I shouldn't contradict anybody in chat at the moment, but uh, I just gotta say, I have to admit, Clemens Franz is not my favorite artist in the world. And if like if you know, I mean, it's quirky, it's personable, but if you if you know much about art. The perspective on that building is whack. Look at that back line on the roof. It's, it needs to converge, and it doesn't. It goes up way too high. That's nuts. This is crazy. Do we give? Can we give Clemens Franz penance, please? Can we, oh, oh, it's stressing me out. Anyway, whatever. Uh, and look, the Twitch followers have gone down. <laughs> no, they were always. They were, at I thought they were at 196. No, no, no. Are that you was, sure? I think that was a YouTube follow. Okay. All right. Or a YouTube that's subscribe. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. No, I, I mean, I, I, I hear what you're saying, but Look at I mean, that they line. are. Look at that line, David, brother David. <laughs> they are. Oh. What, what is going on with? I guess that's brother... built on a hill, or something's <laughs> so bro... happening. Brother Ryan, sometimes, <sighs> sometimes we must go oh. the, we must go the simple ways, right? We must go the simple ways, so... and I think that's what the. What us frozen burger Christians need to be about is the, the simple ways. So what you're saying is if I'm illustrating a, a game and it has a number of different assistant characters in it, what I can do, say the game is called Oh My Goods, just like off the top of my head. <laughs> what I can do is, what you're saying is what I can do is I can draw one assistant and then paint the exact same picture different colors and that represents multiple assistants? No, that's bad. Well, that was what was done. So anyway, <laughs> back to the cards. Yeah, da 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 da. This game looks Whose a turn lot. Is it? It's mine. It like okay. blah blah blah. This looks a lot like Oh My Goods because Clemens Franz yeah, yeah, it. There's a lot of similar I, iconography. I'm not. I'm not going to pretend it's my favorite art, but I do not. <laughs> I do not mind the. I do not mind mind the art in the game because I mean, as many things as are going on, for a first play, I find the UI mm -hmm. pretty intuitive. Good. So I'm pretty pretty happy about that part. Work like without you know I, the one so the three of the four or the fourth rule book I didn't read uh, <laughs> was the appendix and luckily I think most of the buildings are descriptive enough that it wasn't super necessary. So okay, so, sorry. Show me your stone building again. Where's your stone building? My stone building is the stone merchant. Yes. Uh, right there. So, so you, you need you need to pay food and you can pay up to five times two. Food and five energy, no, hmm. no, uh, no change. Food and energy. I would need the food. I don't know why I need to put food to, to make stone, but anyways. Oh, it's a merchant. Yeah. Hmm. I guess he's buying the stone from somewhere. That's Something not, is not clear. <laughs> he found it on the side of the road and was the only guy smart enough to <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to turn it into a business. Perhaps that's like the uh, it's like the river goods and. Uh, or Leon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Poster workshop. Malt nice house. Place. Yeah. Whiskey distillery. The houseboat. Houseboat's like a wood, and I'm the only guy who can build it. Yeah. It takes away three to one. It does that. Okay, let's, again, I can do that. I can do that. That's no problem. So really what I need is something right in the middle there. I should really... I should really, what I should do is this. I should clear this wood out and take up here on the wheel six wood. I'm kind of letting the resource wheel guide me this, this game. Mm -hmm. So six wood, let me go get them. They're up here somewhere. Six wood. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why am I doing that? What Pop, Poppy that? suggests it has to do with the energy needed to hew the stone from the mountain. That is... That's what I thought too, that but it's, it's a it's a it's a merchant. Like you didn't get the stone, he got the stone. You know, like you're not. I thought it was like, oh, you take pack animals up into the mountains, and then you're chiseling away and you're well, bringing maybe them back. Maybe you're compensating. Maybe he's like a really him. lazy merchant <laughs> who needs to be like <laughs> sort to of loan prepaid. His meals. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> prepaid for his trouble, or <laughs> that's step one. And step two. Step two. Right, we've cut down some trees we've cut down some trees step two is going to be i got to free up my guys is really what has to happen so step two is going to be oh what's clay at clay's at four clay's at four sheep and is at six jeez oh because you didn't take sheep that time sheep's at six sheep's Many at six sheep. sheep's at six sheep is at six 
well, we know what we must do then. David, <laughs> mm -hmm. have some money. No, don't have some money. David. <laughs> We're going to drink some beer. <laughs> We're going drink... to drink some. All right, here we go. We're going to drink some whiskey. Down the hatch. And you know the thing that I said. As I said to you, I'm I just fin for your uh, I'll do that. We'll do that the next drink. Okay. I left so, my flask. There go. Oh, I found no, my no. I found my flask, but mm -hmm. I left it at home. Alright, so since I've paid, I want you to put your dude on what did I say? Sheeps. And then I'm gonna go here and the sheep goes to zero and I'm gonna grab six sheeps Very and nice. that messes you up can my... move the wheel and it's your turn while I grab my sheeps. Alrighty. Okay, so clay is at five. That could be nice. Because I was thinking of building that, but I don't have enough of that. Okay. I'm going to make that again. I got lots of energy. What do I want clay for? I guess I could make the malt house. Um, let's let's activate the clay mound. So that's going to give me 5 clay. Mm -hmm. Is that all three of your dudes? It is. Interesting. They'll be freed up for me next time. They will be. Uh, so that's five clay. We'll put that there and hopefully people can sort of see. People can sort of see how much clay I have. I know it's a bit tricky, right? But look at all the resources, man. You're I've flush. Got, yeah, I got stuff. So that's one action. Um, now what was I going to do? Why did I want clay? You got no guys left, so you can either clear or build something. You wanted to build the well, one of these guys. The Maltos? Maltos. Okay. I mean, it's the only thing I can build, so. Uh, so it's got a value of a 5 and a 4. Coast Titans or Pillside. Um, I mean, a 4 is pretty good as far as some of these go. I think that's worthwhile enough to go there, and I can't activate it. And that's my turn. Poppy asks, what are books good for? Wonders? Yeah, they are. There's one building that you'll see comes out. Yeah, road spin that wheel. DJ, spin that wheel. <laughs> There's one building that comes out that you can spend books on to get wonders. It's like a all four of the, the like the points giving things. You can spend a book, a reliquary, a piece of pottery, and a, an ornament in order to get a wonder. And then there's another one. We'll have to see when it comes out, but it's like you spend a beer and a reliquary and a something else and then you get a 30 point wonder gotcha so you basically you're trading in a bunch of the points that you already have to to almost double the points but you, that whittles away if you're then paying another person to use the building to get that wonder if that makes sense yeah it came down to wonders last night with my game with cheryl for sure no interesting all right what is happening we've got uh money or whatever is at four money or whatever at four what is my situation? I need to build something. Something. I'm going to build something. I don't have the clay to build anything. But I could get the clay. I could also do the slaughterhouse thing. No, I couldn't because my... Oh, didn't I... Last turn I, I, I did money, but I didn't put the guy... No, what did I do? I think I didn't place my guy. Um, no. I, I don't think you, you didn't I, clear money. You cleared wood and you got sheep. So oh yeah, I got sheep from you. Yeah yeah, no no good, no good. I gotta I gotta free this guy up, man. It's really important. Mr. Slaughterhouse. Yeah, I gotta free him up so I can do slaughterhouse things for sure. And then clay, you have robbed the wheel of the clay. I have deprived. But I could get four could get, clay. Yeah, from the Joker. <laughs> could get four clay, but I don't have a stone to do anything interesting with the four clay. Really, my my bottleneck is money. Ain't that always the way? 
bottleneck is money. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I could build a houseboat. It's only, like, it's, I should probably do it. Like, one wood, and I have, Lord knows I have enough wood. That's points. Hold on. Okay. And so it's way down there. I'm not going to move everything up so you can see it, but I got like a little houseboat hiding down here. So maybe I can push everything up just slightly so you can whoosh. I might pull the angle out in just a second. All right, so that was step one. Step two, step two, I got to start building some of the stuff. Turning things into points would be nice too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine that. It's this blasted Stone that's uh, still not available. Lack. It will be shortly. It will be. That's five bucks to build the quarry. I don't have the money. Right, so the money. I said the money was the bottleneck. Okay. So what I want you to do, what I want you to do, mm -hmm. is I want you... I want you to put a guy, I'll pay you two bucks, I want you to put a guy on a buck. stone land. We're still a buck. Oh, we're still a buck, hey, just have a buck. Thank you, stone land. Stone merchant, you mean? Yeah, that's the only one you have to make stone, right? Yep. And that gets me, how much for how much? Uh, you need, you can up to five times. Yes. Spend two food and one energy. And then receive stone okay. in return. Five, so I can get five stone, right? Uh, if you have ten food and five energy, sure. Okay. Uh, cloister I'm office for money, for yes. So if I'm you want money, you can go to the cloister office. There's a few other ways to. So I'm spending. It, I'm spending ten food, so five sheep and two peat and a wood. I think I think I'm doing that, in order to get five stone. Why did I want stone so badly to build things? Okay. How much stone do you have, David? Zero. Fantastic. I used it all. But was that your second action? That was my second action. Okay. Back to you, David. Okay. Uh, yep, player one. Okay, so let's see. We've got the jokers on five, which is pretty high, which means I could sort of get anything. Don't really need peat. Money might be good. Joker's at five. Poppy thinks cloister office for money. I don't know who that's for. If that's that for, been, yeah. for <laughs> you or been. for me. Yeah, I kind of want. I do want another piece of land for sure at some point. I would like to brew some beer at some point, but I've got a lot of steps that I would have to take to kind of get there. And you took my stone activation, which is kind of a pain. Mm -hmm. But, and I can't build that because I need another, how much are we paying for that? That's only three. It's three bucks. Okay, I'm going to unfortunately be messing up my, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be messing up my board then, and then none of this is going to fit. Well, um, when we switch camera angles after you you put it there, I can uh, you can switch to a different camera angle, and then you can mess around with your arm if you feel brave. So David gets to pick one side or the other, and one side has a. No, I can't hang it like this, right? It's got no, it's got to go straight down the middle, okay. or it could go on top of the one that you already have at the top of your board. Yeah, I, yeah, way. I need it there. So now, what are you? Are you brave? Are you going to adjust your camera angle, or are you going to let it ride? It's not the worst right now. I think people can still sort of see what's going on. Let me know, chat, if you think I'm... Yeah, I think we can probably adjust it in a second. Oops, I turned over. Oh, God. Don't do that. Thanks, Don't. Poppy. Yes, for the reminder. If you were just joining us, if you follow on Twitch, YouTube, of course, also good, but if you follow on Twitch, uh, uh, you'll be here to confess your board game sins, and Brother David and I 
will uh, issue you penance for your board game sins, and then I'll say something uh, goofy in Latin. So look forward to that. Just hit that purple follow button, which looks a little bit like this. I'll, um, I'll chop down the forest okay. using the joker, which was at five. And that's it. Say two. Say two on to you. <laughs> on to you, brother Ryan. So I get one, David, two more turns before we have to to build or get before to we've got to build another settlement. settlement. We're getting we're getting there. So I've totally lost my wood, but so I can totally build that hamlet if I want to, no problem. But I want a building right in the middle there, and a high value one would be good. So let's go see. How did I? I have. What did I? What did I sacrifice to get? I have the stone now to build things. Hooray! Yes, the shipyard was very interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a neat one. I just you used my stone merchant, though, so. And you just used the joker, so I can't exactly get the clay that I need in order to build. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Why did I want stone so badly? If I can't get clay. Two clay. Does something convert to clay? I missed it. What did David get with the joker? David, what did you get with the joker? Wood. Wood. He took wood. Like a jerk. Well, I was complaining that I didn't have any money, so I'm going to... Let me think. That's <laughs> it's my catchphrase. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Do you have anything, David, in your... Brother David, in your, in your mm -hmm. diocese that generates clay? Except for, like, the clay spot. The clay mound, yep. That's it. Hmm... That's it, eh? That's it. Do I have anything else that oh, generates? Oh, no, I should have taken that. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, so David's got to put put the forest on the edge. So he chose the the, the, the one with the more empty spaces on it. I mm. did. Mm -hmm. Whether that was the right. Okay, I've been hemming and hawing about it for too long, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to use the coin to get six dollars. Uh, there's one. And here's another six bucks. Fantastic. Okay. And with with these monies, I V build. I V build. Hmm. Those guys cost five. And if I build one, still at five. How much money do you have, David? One dollar. Well, $1. and the whiskey, I guess. So three. You got three I bucks. Could, I could exchange the whiskey. Mm -hmm. Do you, do we add the stone to the wheel now? Yes. Uh, not quite yet. Almost. Oh, is, did it pass it? Great. Thank you very much. Yes, the stone is on there. Just in time to build a stone quarry, if I had the money to do it. You just spent it on a... Or did you? No, you just, I just got took six. It. I just got six, but I don't have the mounting to build a quarry. Aha. Yes, I would need to spend. I do. You do, right? That's why I want to. Do you have three money? Three. So you can easily get the money and build a quarry. In many different ways, yes. Yes. So it's that's a bad race. That's a race I'm destined to lose. <laughs> so I don't think, I don't think I'll pursue that race. Thank you very much. Um. Hmm. Sorry. Back to the buildings. Let me just see what I'm thinking about. Mm hmm I know what I need. I daren't say it out loud. <laughs> I daren't say it, but I have to either build or clear. And I don't think I can do it. Well, yeah, I can build. I can build. Why don't I build? I've built for the longest time. I can build. I might as well build this for three wood. One, two, three. So it's got to go adjacent Crap. to one of my other yellow buildings. Nah. There we go. Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. So I built the, the cloister workshop. It's got to go adjacent to one of my yellow buildings because it's yellow. Uh, talk about the UI. I thought that, like, having off-white versus yellow might not have been, like, we missed this rule at least once last night. Because oh, it's like, eh, okay. yeah, it could have been a bit more differentiated, I think. Especially, you know, mm. a lot of games are doing stuff for, like, colorblind players uh, or, you know, 
players who are you know blind or vision impaired mm -hmm, would have mm -hmm. trouble with that. So the name is at least. Yeah, it is spelled out in text. A so little that helps. A little religious, but he took the building I wanted to. So Excellent. I'm not terribly. That means it was a good move. Okay, so settlement phase coming up. Certainly have lots of energy, so that's not a problem. Don't really have a lot of food. Pete, Pete is pretty in grain too. Could use some grain. Poppy says I'm drawing blanks. Other than Praga, Rock of the Dream, which other games have wheels? Oh, the corn one, Sulkin. Yeah, Sulkin has wheels. You want to go Sulkin, to uh, yeah. Board Game Geek and look up Rondell. That's uh, they, not all rondelles have wheels. It more describes a game that works in like a like on a circular path, but uh, tons of them have them. And let me name them all for you now. Uh, you want an actual wheel that you turn. Like there's all the wheels that are like spin to move, which is the same as rolling die, which is not the same thing. But there are tons of rondelles that don't use wheels, but you still have to move around in a circle. So um, Dark Seas is one of them. It's a pirate game where you lay out the cards in, a, in an octagon, I think, and you have to bounce around from card to card. That's a rondelle. Oh yes, what are you doing? You're clearing. I'm what clearing, have you cleared? clearing some peat. Give me six. Give me six lovely blocks of peat. Glass road, does that have a wheel? I haven't played glass road. But I yeah, think I think all the wheel games I've played have been named. <laughs> so I'm out of. Shipyard, is that a game? Or is that what you want me to build next? Because it's sitting right here and it's looking very delectable. Yeah, I'm a ways from I'm definitely a ways from building that shipyard. Um, so I've got myself some peat. Um, I will... I mean, I could do three different goods. I had a plan. No, I'm just going to go to my... Sorry, I'm just going to use my scriptorum. I'm going to spend a buck, which gives me a book. A buck for a book. A book for mm. a book. It gives me a meat. And it gives oh, Vladimir Suki Shipyard. I like uh, Vlad S. It gives me a, a whiskey. Okay. Vlad S makes good games. He and, did Praga uh, as well. That's there you me. Go. That's me. Okay, we're getting the there. The last one before uh, round C. Uh, funny, Shipyard is supposedly Suki's greatest game, and I've not played it. Slicker Drips loves it. Well, anything Slicker Drips loves. Yeah, I haven't played it either. Uh, I was delighted to find out that uh, he did uh, he did Praga Kaput Regni, which is awesome, and also Latin, so it fits. It's good that we're mm -hmm, talking about mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. I think I know what I must do. I think it's going to work out well for me. So my guys come back because at the beginning of either player's turn in a two-player game, if they're all occupied, yep. they come back for jam. <laughs> Said more for their benefit than for you. You know what's going on. Uh, I'm going to put... Uh, this guy on clay, and then we're going to go up to the wheel, and clay is currently sitting at four, so it's going to go down to zero. So mm -hmm. let me get my four clay, and hopefully not knock anything over with my spades. That is step one. And then step two is for a big 15 points, the shipyard costs four clay and a stone. Love it, and it has to go on the coast. So here it is on the coast down here. And it's costing me four clay. One, two, three, four. Easy come, easy nice. go. And one stone. Shazamity. I put it in the wrong bucket. That's okay. That's that's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's good. I think that's it. Uh, that's it for me. So now right, settlement. we're going to move to settlement phase. And we'll put um, this on D. I play don't D. think... I don't think I want to buy something because really all I can afford is that I have to turn my whiskey so I'm not going to do that um, are you expanding your uh, let me environs see. prior to let me see let me see then I can I don't think I I don't think I particularly need to no like I can kind of do it anytime it's four bucks yeah you know what I might as well I'm going to I'm gonna, so I'll pay five, get one buck back, and I'm gonna build one of these, and I'm gonna build the one that has the most open sh stuff on it. Am yep, I? That one. I think so. So if I take a forest card and put it down, we're good, and then we can both build. What are you building, David? I'm building a hamlet. Are you jealous? I am also building a hamlet. Ah, oh, nuts! Five. 
food and six, two, four, six, three peat is the six energy required to build a hamlet. Yep, and I'll throw my mate back. Hey, fantastic. There we go. I have also built a hamlet. I've surrounded, almost surrounded my sacred site with, uh, let's see, with settlements yeah, here. Yeah, look at that. So. Very nice. And I've done sort of the opposite. So I've done a bunch of settlements that I can like plunk something down in the middle of. Aha, uh -huh. so uh -huh. you're you're going to be waiting for that big... Maybe a big sucker, the right? The big slam. I, haven't, I mean, I haven't seen the C or D building. So this, well, this here we a, go. You're about to. This so may the very be a, first thing that a deficit for me, but we'll find out. So I've been trying to, to, to hint at some of them as, as we've gone along, because I don't want you to be at a disadvantage. Let's, uh, let's take a look I'm at our red. C building. Oh, sorry. Let's take a look at our C building. I mean, I think they're the... They're identical, but yeah, color. Oh right. my goodness! It's a village. It costs fifteen food, food brother and David. Nine energy. And then nine energy. Wow. Eight and six. Okay, let's okay, take that. Okay, well, interesting. I don't know about that. And the extra buildings. Let me get in closer. Are going to be the uh, refactory or refactory? Blip. <laughs> Not the refactory. That's where you make more monks. Uh, a castle. Oh yes, here we go. Here we go. Some interesting cooperage is very interesting. Look at this cooperage. You pay three bucks. And then you get to blow the Joker on beer or whiskey. Very cool. Interesting. Right. Whiskey played in more, I think, in my game with Cheryl last night. Over here, we've got the Grand Manor. So one time, you pay a whiskey to use any occupied building. Pretty cool. That was very cool. 20 bucks, though. That's going to take a little... It's going to take some doing. The castle, also very cool build one of your own settlement so even outside the settlement phase you get to build a settlement. still have to pay for it presumably. still have to pay for it sure okay. of course interesting um the chapel is a cloister building so it lets you uh pay back. that was already there and oh yeah yeah right, right. in the whiskey, uh, distillery, whiskey distillery, distillery, distillery we got but the refectory gets you a buck and a meat and additionally you can turn a meat into pottery four times yeah oh four times yeah that looks like a mm -hmm. potential sheep uh Barrage, so we're sheep. talking about barrage. Yeah, I heard good things about barrage. One one thing that my friend Doc said about barrage is he wished that it was set up so that I am. Oh no no wait, am I thinking the same one? Is barrage the one where stuff flows from higher ground into lower ground? Is that barrage? I believe it's I think a so. water system. So type he of thought game, yeah. that it would be better to set the game up so that visually you had relief, so that like the highest level was actually higher on the table than the lowest level. He thought that would have helped or been more interesting mm -hmm, i've mm -hmm. never played i don't know I'm just i have not it is one i haven't played either i've certainly heard it talked about a lot um it is my turn mm -hmm. so what's it gonna be let's go back to these buildings <laughs> uh, i've got i've got my prior got my prior so i want to build something but 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 lots of green is available Yeah, I think I'm just, I'm running into a situation where I've got sort of too many of, I've just got too many, <laughs> too many <laughs> I built so many buildings and I built too many things and I don't know, and I'm not really sure what is the best, what is the best thing to do, but that's okay, let's, let's do something. Well, peanut gallery, <laughs> help David out. What do you think brother should David, David should do? If you think he should... Nice take I wood, yell, take wood at the computer. <laughs> <laughs> this turns into a Dora the Explorer episode. Do you think Brother David should take wood? Uh, I'm going to take grain. Uh, so that's six grain. I mean, I'm just, I'm all, I think I'm, I think I'm doing the thing that you were doing earlier, which is grab whatever's on the, <laughs> the highest point of the resource wheel and just... <laughs> Brother David, no swiping, says Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> no swiping. Yeah. You're just taking resources because they're they're high and it feels foolish not to take advantage, right? Is that the... Yeah, just... Well, no, I think, I think I've got some sort of a plan where I turn... Like, because I can turn... I can turn grain into malt. I can turn malt and grain into beer, beer into money, and then maybe beer into other stuff. Like... Yeah. And beer is food, and then I can activate this. And I mean, I think I've got things. I'm just, I'm running into like a too many 
It's so funny. You know what I think has happened? What's that? And we won't know by the end of it, which we're coming up <coughs> to. But I feel that Uve has set a trap for us. Uve <laughs> is love, but sometimes Uve is a jerk. I think that you're playing this game exactly the way that I played the game last night. You're making the same choices because it looks like there are synergies. But then when you actually try to run that engine, you find that it takes so many flipping turns in to order it. to get all the way to the end of that chain that it's like, uh, it, it's a trap. It. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like it's a complete trap. You tell me, you tell me. I don't know, but uh, let's see how it plays out. I'm doing something, yeah, completely different this time. Uh, listen to, oh, I'm, listen to DM Explains. Oh, oh, beer is good to have, says DM Explains. Welcome. Thank you for oh. joining us, DM Explains. Oh, here we go. Here's the expert. Uh, I should have been paying closer attention. I've secretly been playing another oh game while watching your stream. Goodness. Oh, my gosh. Who is moderating? Somebody, <laughs> somebody kick Stacy. <laughs> Just kidding, Stacy. You're good. What game are you playing, Stacy? We'd like to know. Is it more fun than Aura at Labora? How could it be? Hmm. And I've done, I've done this thing again. Um, we haven't moved can you show me is it your, still, is it your second half of yeah, your turn? Yeah, it's my second half. Could you yeah. show me your board, actually? Yeah, let's go. Um, let's look at my options. So you could wreck somebody, so you can get three coins and a beer or a whiskey, right? So straight up. Uh, down here, you just get stuff. You can get a wood and a malt. Oh, you like yeah, malt. And a coin good. and a peat. Just um, straight up stuff. Here, you us. can pay two wood. Wait, I'm not even done. Look, you can pay two wood once to get uh, uh, basically six yeah, points. You get actually. five five coins of decoration. Um, over here, this is the one where you get to melt down your clay down and your stone clay. for decorations and pottery. It'd be nine points that I yeah, lose on my turn clay. Turn your sheep into meat. Um, oh, so let's, uh, let's partake... Oh yes. Let's partake in a lovely, <laughs> in a lovely a whiskey, a beverage yes, together. Um, and I, and I would like you. Ready. You have a person, right? <laughs> I do have a person. Would you please people. put a person on the shipyard? On the shipyard. And so the I'm shipyard's going kind to of burn. And I'm going to one time, right? Yeah, one time. I'm going to one time burn one two time. wood uh, at the shipyard. And I've gotten my. I've gotten my resources, so... Okay, and what am I getting from that exactly, Ryan? You're getting... Well, decoration! Show me what he's won. a $5 coin, which is worth two points at the end of the game, which you can train in at any time for five single coins, can which you, are worth no points apiece. Can you spend the $5 coin as $5, too? You can spend the $5 coin as $5, David. You can split it up into individual coins, and at any time during your turn, you can turn those five individual coins into a $5 chip. All right, awesome. So that is me. All right. I think we've moved, Autumn, we've that moved is the you. We've moved the wheel. It's two. All right. It's... Oh, and my, oh, what's going on? My cards, my guys come on. Your guys, so all so your buildings are available. My buildings are available there. <laughs> Open for... Oh, get the castle, David. Business. Uh oh, DM explains is out, and he's he's he's. Swinging. Get the castle, find a way. Okay. Get the castle, find a way. Sure. Wow, I can almost find a way. I'm at flipping almost there. He's, he's telling you to do it. Uh, I don't have any hill. Oh, I do have a hillside. I have a hillside. Oh, I could do it. I could do it. Would you tell me to get the castle, <laughs> DM explains? Also, the Plano box is the way to go. Yeah, yeah, you're coming in a bit after we showed off the uh, the Plano box, DM explains, but if I go to the right camera angle... <laughs> Dave uh, has some advice for me. It's the only person who backed you to win, yeah. All right, so we, we're both rocking Plano boxes with our, uh, our resources because I had one for some other Uve game that I emptied because I had printed a 3D insert for it. Great, 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 great. I think it was, oh, it was Agricola, I, I believe. I got the, uh, the Laser Ox sent me an insert for that. There's a whole episode if you wanted to watch it. Hmm. So he's telling you to get the castle. <laughs> it is worth 15 points. Look at this. 15 points, another seven dwelling points, six and five, cost of stone. Let me see your, if he's telling you to do it, man, that makes me want to do it really badly. Hillside and Mountain. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let me let me look. Let me look at what other options are available. Mm-hmm. I really need something to go in the middle here. And the higher the point value, the better. So the highest point value over here is going to be the 
grand manor, but it's 20 flipping bucks. 20 flipping bucks. And then I should also look at... Yeah, getting an extra settlement out of it. I, I see where that's... I mean, I don't... I'm kind of in a position where I don't exactly have a lot of places to put another settlement right now. But yeah, same. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, right. I remember what I wanted to do. I remember what I wanted to do. I am going to... Oh, no. That would be a waste. Yeah, I guess that would be pretty... I oh, don't know, but hillside and mountain only, right? Mm-hmm. So, it there. backing out and looking at the wheel, here's the situation. Now, I don't know if Team Explains has actually played this game more than solo. Have you played it with... Yeah, I think you have. Didn't you say you played it with at least two-player? Let me know, because I don't know. Because solo is a little bit different. you got to think about things a bit differently in solo. I th thought I knew what I was going to do. Excuse me, I think I still do. Oh, you know what? You know what we didn't do? What's we'll do that? it after the next... Well, we didn't... We didn't uh, I didn't open the agenda. Because there is... Play Oral at Bora. Tick. We've yeah, done we're, that. we're doing that. We've uh, absolved... We have. We've absolved a few board few game sins. Is. Not many, though. Uh, not many. So, like, if you want to follow, uh, we can do more of that. Uh, we also have to have a snack, which will happen after, after D... And we've got a hunt puzzle for you to solve that's coming up. So look forward to that. It's very exciting. All right. Maybe we'll put, put up the hunt puzzle while we're having a snack. Great. Good. Okay. So your turn. Now, it's still my turn. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. This is where I get into, like, analysis, paralysis. Let's take another close look at these, uh, these cards. He says get the castle. And to get the castle, I would need to get the stone. And to get the stone, I would need to spend energy and food uh, and money, so I need to spend two money, and how much energy and food depends on how much I want, right? Um, that would be my last sheet, though, and I kind of like hang on to that. I know what I should do. Uh, no, but I wouldn't be able to do it unless I did it right now. Oh, yeah, and then that's another thing. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay you... We still haven't built the distillery, eh? I'm going to pay you a buck. I'm going to pay you a dollar. There you go. And I would like you to put your person on... on catch em sheets. Yes, because this six, is looking... Six sheeps six for you. Six sheeps. Looking pretty good. Remember, I do have a slaughterhouse at my disposal. So let me just fish those sheep. Fish those sheep. Fishing for sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Smashing. Now that I have the sheeps, is it time to eat them? Is it time to eat them? Back to these buildings. I feel like I'm just in a loop here. Yeah, right, so I'm going to Pay you another? Do you have another person left? Yes, you do. Yep. Have another dollar. Oh my goodness. Yes. And please place a guy on make make him stone. There we go. So one more time because I can't see it with my bad eyes. Five. Yep. I can go five sheep, right? Five sheep, and you need five energy to get five more stone. One, two, three, four, four five, and five energy. Does that like count me out of? When's settlement coming up? Not for a bit. Not for a while. Not for a little while. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to chuck all of that stuff for five stone. So we can move on to your turn. Keep hitting this clipboard. Okay. Joker's at four. Four stone. With the quarry. I mean, I do have a spot to put it. I do have the five money. You've been heavily utilizing my uh, <laughs> my buildings here. It's like uh, mm -hmm. it's like key flower. Um, always messes up the plans a bit. It does feel like key flower. It, it, it that part. It has this a lot very common. specific. This very specific part of it does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's one of the coolest things I think about key flowers that you get to use other people's buildings. 
Um, you want to save food for another settlement when you get the castle. Oh yeah, good. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build the Cooperage. So flip that. Three clay. Um, so that gives me that. I'm gonna throw it. Stacy Everdell says you need more Twitch viewers to follow. I suppose all seven are already following. Yeah, that's right. Oh, there we go. Look, it's uh, it is Christopher. Christopher Christopel? Does that say Christopel? That's subscribed on Twitch. Ah, oh, subscribed. Or subscribed on YouTube. You know what? We have enough sins to forgive. I yeah, think we, we do. can do we it. Can all right. Definitely forgive Christopel, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, first, uh, we're gonna look up in the big book of board game sins what you actually did. Uh, it looks like your board game sin was, oh, this is a bad one. Uh, putting, sp <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to laugh. It's a serious matter. You apparently put small format board game cards into large format board game sleeves. What kind of a monster oh, does that? Wow. That's horrible. What, <laughs> what do we got, Brother David, to, uh, I mean, right. We've got the, the pen, pen and picker. picker. Here we go. Pen and picker 900. Pick a game for us. Distilled. Distilled. Oh, okay. So very our, topical, I think, game. Uh, yeah, no, that's a yeah, it is actually. I mean this this game does have aspects. We're brewing beer, we're making whiskey. We triggered so. Stacy Everdell with the, with the small sleeves. The small sleeves. Yeah, big that, sleeves that's, small a bad, that's a rough one. It's a bad one. So I mean this is this is maybe a good this is maybe a good penance too. So distilled uh, distilled by our friend uh, Dave, Dave Beck. Beck. Yeah, friend um, of the channel. Great great game, friend of the channel. <laughs> Uh, Ryan has a lovely uh, how to play video for that that you may want to check out if you're interested in the game in any event. So basically game about distilling spirits. So the the penance is you've got to sample every spirit that somebody makes over the course of the game for real. So if this uh, goes up to five players, good luck. <laughs> good luck if you're on five players. Also, also yeah. another component is make sure if someone ages something that you're including the specific uh, flavor. So every time you age something, you get a flavor card. Um, and I don't think I remember all of those flavors being particularly savory. Some are not pleasant. Some aren't good. I mean, some are like, you know, cinnamon or, you know, like a smoky flavor. A nutty flavor. I mean, some of them are actually like manure. Or, so, or tires. Oh, good who's luck. coming in? Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Raffle Snapple. Hey, Raffle Snapple. Oh, we'll get all to right. you in just a moment. Uh, <laughs> so remember Raffle Snapple. Uh, so, yeah, well, that was that was distilled, but uh, yeah. again, I'm going to say a, uh, a, a Latin benediction. Hold on, I gotta find it first. Again, my Latin is rusty. I don't know what this means, uh, but qui uh, sentiebat emisit, whatever that means in Latin. Uh, go look it up in Google Translate. Great. So, Raffle Snaffle, uh, you've committed a board game sin as well. Thank you for coming to uh, confess your board game sins. Your board game sin. It looks like uh, you've copped to. Oh. <laughs> Binding decks with rubber bands. Oh, oh my gosh. Man. Why would you? All right. You know, Let's comes, hope it wasn't like a deck builder where it's critical where to it matters. know like, yeah. which cards are which. My goodness. My goodness gracious. Oh, dear. What Awful. have we got? It's going to be Patchwork. Ah, look patchwork, at that. Patchwork. So that's another Uwe Rosenberg game that we're going to be covering later on in Uwe Rosenberg month. Patchwork Christmas. Edition. Patchwork. So your penance. This, this is high stakes. So this, this is, is this is when mm -hmm. you're like you're serious about patchwork. Uh, you'd better. Yeah, Rav I, Rav 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 says, I actually that's do this. Awful. Oh dear. Well, this is what you got to do. This is what you, you have to do. So your right relationship next, with you might want to practice your patchwork because your next game of patchwork, the loser has to sew an actual quilt for the winner using using their own cloth bags from their board games. <sighs> Don't not lose. the not the most valuable components of any board game, the cloth bags. That's rough, but I think I think deserved. Yeah, and I for think rubber I think, banding. Jeez, my goodness. If you're uh, <laughs> if you're committing such heinous board game sins, then uh, heinous board game penance is, is fitting. Uh, what were we doing? <laughs> I was believe it or not, I've remembered. Okay. So if you want to if you want to shoot on over to my board, there's no way that I would have recalled on my own. I, I'm I glad don't. you're here. Um, you can't really see it because my board is starting to. We may, may maybe during snacks during we snack, can fix yeah, we'll our like, we'll, sure. fix our zoom angles here. Sounds good. Um, you can push the table. 
you can move the whole table if you wanted to. Well, no, I no, mean, the whole not. thing's not fitting. I am using an instant action to activate this lovely uh, Cooperage, I guess, which I understand, I think, makes me spend three of these wood. Mm -hmm. And then I can get a Joker of either oh, yes. beer or uh, whiskey. So the Joker's at four, so you get Joker's four beer. Four, and I whiskey. assume this moves it. That's right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take four whiskey. Look at that. Holy whiskey. So I'm in the whiskey business, everyone. Oh, yes. Uh, they're, 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 adding, they're adding to the penance. The, uh, the quilt has to be done by hand no, using no sewing <laughs> machine, like old school. Uh, yeah. It's rotten. My copy of Merchants and Marauders needs rubber bands for all those small Euro card decks. Now, okay, okay you might have noticed that we've got this rockin' 3D printed thing to hold. This is amazing for this game. Uh, and I've got a whole series on, uh, if you're new to the channel, I might as well plug it, called Bits Please. Bits Please! And so that's a series where I go, I go through and I upgrade the components of the games. I buy, you know, the fancy resources. And more importantly, I use my 3D printers that I bought, the SLA and the FDM, to do cool resin pieces and, and inserts like these. So if you uh, love Merchants and Marauders, there's an absolutely fantastic insert on Thingiverse that if you get an entry-level 3D printer, you know, spend a couple hundred bucks if you've got the means, and then rolls of PLA or another 20 bucks. That's the plastic that you use to run through it. And you can print a very, very nice insert and everything fits and not only does everything fit but here's the gold standard brother mm. david if you can get everything into the main box plus all the expansion stuff into the main box and all fits snugly then that's that's and you can store it either horizontally or vertically that's that's where you, that's where you want to be and with this merchants and marauders expansion that's where you're going to be because there it does go. the in, oh, oh it's the insert the insert does the expansion does it vertically everything oh it's it's amazing it's amazing there you go so i was I was just thinking about my move, so I just, <laughs> right missed, to the game. Just like all of to the game. missed most of that, but that's okay. I don't I don't have merchant merchant and marauder, so it wasn't uh, was not directed towards me. I, again, <laughs> you've used two of my guys. Yes, I have. And you're really limiting my <laughs> possible actions here. Now here here's a um, very uve thing I have to point out that you can you can put a guy on one of your buildings, or you can pay somebody to put a guy on one of their buildings. And just not do the thing. Yeah, you know, so yeah, many, no, so many you games you got to take the space right, only right, right. if you can do the thing. Well, this is just like, you forget just it. Pure, pure spite. <laughs> just spite. Yeah, just yeah. Block pure spite. It. Like, Why not? I don't know if you I'll win I'll just become that, a but... close personal friend and mooch off your 3D printer. That... <laughs> Maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm Maybe. open to it. Hey, why don't you jump into, uh, look, David's here in person. We didn't know each other uh, until a few months ago. This is the Discord server and a lot of wonderful people, including people that you're seeing in chat right now, hang out in there all the time, including brother David. He'll be yeah. there. And we play board games together. David, in honor of Uwe Rosenberg this month, set up a whole uh, board game arena uh, tournament for Agricola. Agricola yeah. Just getting, is it kicked off yet, or can people no, still you jump can in? still you can still join if you if you want to join. You just wander on over to the Discord. It's in that link, and um, take a look for our Knights Around the Table group and click on the link. And we are playing a very friendly, very friendly tournament. Of <laughs> very Agricola. low stakes. Don't worry. Don't worry if you don't know how to play. Just, you just know, click, click things through until stuff and happens. something happens. And there might be a lot of begging for food, but let's not worry about that now. Um, That's how you it's learn. It's okay. That's how you it's learn. Okay. Starving your family is how you just, learn. I agree, Stacey Everdale. Wouldn't it be lovely to get to that magical 200 number? And as promised, we have some celebratory music <laughs> if we do hit 200 sinners absolved by the end of the stream tonight. Okay. David, what's it going to be? I am trying to take my next action. <laughs> um, so what? So I can't if I can't put dudes on buildings. Now I could pay. What do you got? Let's see what I got. You Let's could pay me some money because the you. money can go back and forth in a two-player game. Now the two that you can't see, I'm just going to slide them up. But the shipyards, the shipyards take, take the so houseboat gets you a wood and a malt and stuff. a buck and a peat. You really want more conversion-y stuff. So over here, you can convert your clay by use of energy. You fire it in a kiln and turn yeah, it into pottery. Spent. Your stone turns into, oh, so no good there. Kind of spent all my You can take clay. some money. Money's at four. You can take some sheep uh, or some You know wheat. what? I'm actually going to pay a buck to activate the lighthouse. Oh, the, the false pirates, lighthouse. The pirate's lighthouse. So that so gets you three, three bucks, bucks back. And a beer or a whiskey. I'm going to take the beer. He's taking the beer. Is it three? Can, sorry, can you show it again? I thought yeah, there was get th one you more. Get three bucks. Oh, no, I end a beer or a whiskey. Yeah, right. Three I'm going to take the beer. I need some, need some food. Okay, that's it. Okay. 
I need to go back and study this wheel on what, what's happening. So Shazam, we're here. It's I get Such one turn, mess. David, two turns, uh, David. Unfortunately, my buildings are all available again. Fantastic. <laughs> That's the drawback of having really excellent buildings that are tasty to use. That so is I get, something I didn't fully anticipate. <laughs> but yes, Let agreed. me just look again. Two turns before we have to build another one of these wonderful settlements. Right. I definitely want to build it down here. So one of my... So basically four actions. So one of my actions, this is kind of neat because this is what I was able to do with the solo playthrough of Agricola. Is I know that I'll have four actions and I know that one of those actions has to be or should be clearing that forest. Okay. What are the rest of my actions going to be and which thing am I going to build? The very yeah, I'm a long way from that castle, Poppy. The very best thing for me to build would be, and I've got two sheep and with five, that would be ten food would be the market, not the market town, the village. 10 food and six energy, but like all my Pete's gone for Pete's sakes. Back here looking at the cards, Dean Explains says castle, castle, castle all the way. If I do that, I would definitely have enough wood and thing, but I would not have enough food, but I could get the food by going on to food space and taking the Oh no, going on to the slaughterhouse and doing that. And the castle lets me build one of my own stuff. So that might be like super cool, but the castle has to go over there, but that's okay. Okay, so I think, I think I've got it. <laughs> I think I've got it. Step one is going to be to clear out the forest. Let's say that that is step one. So we go over here yeah, to seven the wheel. Wood. Very nice. Seven wood. And going to take me a little bit to fish it out with these long sleeves. Uh, do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wood. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. The second thing that I'm going to do is I am going to... How many stone do you have? Zero. Fantastic. Then I know what's going on. The second thing that I'm going to do is I am going to put my prior on feed sheep and turn them into meat. So I get to flip both of these and turn them into hay and then feed both of those hay to these sheep and turn them into ship sheep a stew. Okay. Delicious. So I've got that and that looking good. And I think uh, I think that's it. Did, for you, whoop, did you throw a dude on the lighthouse for my last turn? Oh, oh no, I didn't. Oh, no. Oh, but that's okay, because I would have had everybody back. Right? Mm. So if I threw this guy on the lighthouse for you your last turn... You back. What's that? Okay. Wouldn't I? I yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I would. If I'd thrown... Uh, he, he, was the, he was the prior was the guy who wasn't used. Oh, wasn't used. Okay, yeah, cool. so then I would have had everybody back, and I put... So that means instead of using my prior... Right. Which kind of changes what I want to do, actually. So I cleared that... And instead of doing meaty sheep flip, no, I still want to do meaty sheep flip. Okay. Awesome. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Back to the wheel. Back and to the wheel. Go. Settlement, I've got. <laughs> These messages are not for Ryan's eyes. I'm going to read them anyway. Come on, get some wood. Get that castle, David. <laughs> yeah, so, come on, David. I am get so the, far. Get that castle. <laughs> I am so far from the castle. I mean, like, stone. So Whoops. Far. They want you to use your building to get the stone. Ben is yes. me on the Discord to keep you on the straight and narrow. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I got... Subterfuge. Oh, my God. No, I, I do need to use my building to get stone. Raffle Snaffle, this is, this is an older game, and it went out of print, and then it came back into print, and DM Explains, uh, one of the lovely patrons of the channel, sent this copy to me in order to play because he likes the... Uh, he likes the how to play videos they did, uh, the I do, and there wasn't a really good how to play. This is not a how to play video. This is no. just a playthrough, but I do have a script written for the how to play video. If you want to be a cool guy patron like David or like Deem Explains, that's the address. Patreon.com slash Knights Around the Table. A uh, bunch of different things. If you don't like paying, like, basically subscriptions, like a monthly thing, there's like a one-off. Somebody was really nice this week and just said, like, hey, love your videos. Here's uh, some, some bucks. That was uh, wonderful. And what do I do with those bucks? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> cocaine. No. In addition to cocaine, 
I, uh, I buy gear. So the, one of the reasons that you're able to see David and I playing, David and me playing this game together is that I was able to upgrade my gear and make it so that you could hear both of us through our mics because I had to buy like right. two, this is nerd stuff, but I had to buy two attenuators in order to get the, uh, the, the double mics working. Um, plus, he, his, his camera is on an arm and I had to buy that arm, and then I had to buy like an adapter to go into the phone so that we could put it into the computer so that we could actually see David's board. If you watched the Zaya playthrough with me and Dave a few weeks ago, I didn't have all of that stuff, and it was really painful because you couldn't see uh, Dave's stuff. This is not David, but Dave, yeah, the yeah. other guest. You couldn't see his board. It was kind of cramped at the bottom of the screen. I really like uh, I really like a playthrough where you can, you know, I can switch camera angles and you can see everybody's stuff. So there's that, and you know, there's the wheel, and there's the close up on the cards, and you know, you know what I'm saying. There's my stuff, and there's David's stuff, and there's there's Ryan and David. Look at that, four <laughs> cameras, ladies and gentlemen. How exciting is that? So, long winded way of saying thank you for your donations and for helping keep this channel running and helping the stuff get better and better because I hope that you can uh, appreciate that it does actually improve as we go. Back to you, David. Yeah, I um, I did use my show motion. <coughs> oh, who so does I do have five. Look at that. That one appeal. Give me that name. I can't read it. You've got glasses. That was Stacey Everdell joined as a patron. Stacey Everdell, you're the best. You've been on like every single stream that I have done from the very, very beginning. And I have to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the help and the support that you've given to this channel. It's been amazing. And I look forward to seeing you on the Discord server. Do -do 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 -do. And because Stacy Everdell, uh, now Stacy Everdell has been following on Twitch for a, for a long time. Mm -hmm. I, I have heard, though, that Stacy Everdell has committed at least one board game sin. Okay. Um, let's take a look at, 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 at what it was. Stacy Everdell, we've heard tell that, or you've confessed, I'm sure, on your own time, that uh, what happened? You, uh, I don't like this. You, you bought an expansion for a game that you own that's still in shrink and has been for years? No. Is that What are you doing? Buying extra board game content for stuff that you haven't even played? That's... Who would do such a thing, Brother David? Certainly not I, multiple times this year. God. All right, back to the, the Penance Picker 900. Let's see which game that you're... You, once again, we'll absolve you of these sins, but you have to... I have known to, been known to buy expansions for games you don't own. Even. <laughs> That's really My rough. goodness. I mean, if it's a good deal. A Feast for Odin. A Feast so next, for Odin. The next so time you play. The next time you play. The That's, next time you play A Feast for Odin. Have another... you ever played A Feast for Odin? I hope so. And if you haven't, it's coming up on Uwe Rosenberg Month. We're going to be playing it next week, uh, next Saturday night with Dave. Awesome. Not David. Not Dave. Dave. Other, other Dave. So uh, <laughs> this, this, one, this, one, this one's called The Gambler. So... Mm -hmm. If you haven't played, there are polynomial or polyomino. Polyomino. Polyomino, yeah. not polynomial. That would be like that's a heavy duty big game. numbers. Yeah. And anyways, um, so each time you get one, what you have to do is you've got to throw it in the air, just throw it up in the air, and you've got to play it as it lands. <laughs> that's awful. Good luck. That's that's good luck tough, with that. But it's that's well gonna be hard. You know what I think is really funny? Stacy's copying the fact that. That's one of the games that she has an expansion for. It doesn't have the base game. So you've got the Norwegians and... and because that's one of the ones that people talk fair. up and they say like, it's oh, fair. I would never play that without the Norwegians. So Stacy's like, I'll just skip step A and just buy the Norwegians. No problem. I hope it was on sale or something happened. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> it is good. That is funny. <laughs> Varys, who's played a future and knows how brutal it is to actually have to go with the way the polyomino lands. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a big hey, spot so oh wait i forgot the benediction hold on i forgot the benediction and not only did i forget the benediction but i forgot the sound effect that goes with the benediction uh oh Pop, um, poppy is suggesting how about three player with dave and david for a piece for <laughs> oh my god i mean we don't have the gear we, we just got to the two player gear yeah um latin i don't know if you speak latin i don't my rat my latin's a bit rusty but apparently uh uh Lac mihi ex cussum or ex chassum omnes pueros in area afford. Um, Thank you. Yes. Thank you for that. Um, I am still <laughs> trying to decide what my second move is going to be. Um, Not to say it's disruptive in the slightest, but. No, no. It's, all it's all the boys, Varus asked. Uh oh. <laughs> 
Uh, Varys is starting to translate the Latin. She's on to me. Okay, carry on. Uh-oh. <laughs> carry on. Get the gear, Uh-oh. says Poppy. I might be able to now that uh, now that Stacey Everdell is the subscriber. How Get would I... Gear, right? What gear would that require? A new house. Oh, yeah, I would need another... <laughs> what? Oh, who's this? Lord Tina is now following on Twitch. All right, well, well okay. this, this is going to be a long... <laughs> yeah. My goodness. So, Bortina... It's been a... We're getting there. Hey, 190 yeah, is it going to tick? I hope so. Bortina, uh, we heard that you've been up to no board game good. Uh, apparently you were, <laughs> that's awful. Apparently you were folding, folding your, your game boards in the wrong direction. You know how they like crack? Oh, <laughs> oh that's man. rough. And you've got like those like brown lines. Yeah. Down there. Oh, and it's split goodness. and they fray and they curl up whenever you, when you split the, not whenever you, because you should never do that. Right. To the penance picker 900. Okay, here we go. I'll get there eventually. There it is. Here we go. Here we go. Terraforming Mars. Terraforming Mars. Popular. Uh, very popular game. Here we go. So every time, every. <laughs> so this is a mix of things. Every time someone builds an ocean, hmm. you have. To, every time someone builds an ocean, you have to drink. Okay. Every time someone increases the oxygen, you have to yawn. Okay. And then every time someone increases your heat, you've got to rub your thighs together to tr- rub your thighs together to try to create a fire. And I assume trying to do all of this without anybody kind of catching on. No, to you your, have to do this in secret. Absolutely, like in complete <laughs> no. secret. Yeah. And if they catch you, you got to play another game of terraforming Mars and try to pull the wool over somebody. Or you uh, are we confessing sins of... or something? Oh, thank you for thank you for joining us, uh, uh, dual world cats. Uh, dual wheel cats. Dual wheel cats. We are cats. we're having people confess their board games. So all you got to do is, is if you if you're not following on Twitch or if you're not following on YouTube, give us a follow on one of those. Uh, the follow button on Twitch looks like that, and the follow button on YouTube. Hold on, I'll play that. It looks like or the subscribe button on YouTube looks like that, and we will. Uh, accept or we'll hear your board game sins and we'll give you board game penance. Yeah, and we're absolve we're absolving, both confessing and absolving. So lots of. Uh, so as for the we're confessing sins we intend to commit. Well, I hope not. These no, are these, real are sins, bad, these, these are these these are real sins bad you, board game. Ones. You want to put them behind you. Yeah. So uh, back to Latin. Uh, <laughs> I was not happy about this one. But again, I don't speak Latin, so I don't know what it even means. Uh, Asicula et paniculus, id est wop. On we go. No translation. No for translation. Wop to Latin, no, that's uh, okay. it's Latin. It's a dead language. There's no <laughs> way we'll ever figure it out. So, so I. You've done so that I'm one on still... space base. What's that? Wop Varus? No. Okay. Back to right. Yes, you're going to back, do what? We're, we're, we are still <laughs> playing a game. Okay. Um, after all of this. I think I'm going to, no, because if I do that, I'm only going to get two. It's not really a lot. That's see this. Th- this is an interesting thing hold, about hold this. Hold on, Sorry. before I get canceled, that's the wrong WAP, not W O P. No, 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 no. W A P. W A P. Not, not a no. no. And still, still bad. But yes, go on. What are you going to do? <laughs> that was whoops. That was a whoops. W A P. W A P. Capitalized. I think it's an initialism. It goes back to the. The late fourth century, 2000s, yes, it's, yeah. yeah. See, but th- so, so this is definitely one of the tricky oh. things about the game is mm-hmm. you've got these good buildings, and you're like, okay, I want to do this thing with this building, but you almost feel like with this infinite use, if you don't kind of maximize it, you're wasting your move a bit, right? Mm-hmm, like, so sure. I'm thinking if I go to the brewery, that's good, I can sure. get two beer, but if I really only want two beer, I kind of more so want. Like five beer, not much wop. Not much, much wop serious. in the monastery. Which, which one of them is Aura? <laughs> we, we've got the. <laughs> I'm Brother Ryan. This is Brother David. Thanks for joining. Thanks us. for joining. We've got the. Uh, sorry, I keep going to my own. There's David's board. I mean, this is this is not efficient either because then I'm gonna only. All right, I'm just gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna get two beer because somebody set a marker for David Wines about <laughs> about options. <laughs> Wines is a bit strong. Wines is a bit strong. We're not playing the French side of the no, board. No, we're whiskeying. <laughs> whiskeying all night long. No, I know what you mean, though. And, like, it's so funny that you're playing here. I'll get your arm. 
you're, you're playing the same game that I did last night, and uh, I lost. So I'm trying well, to play the game we'll where see. I don't lose. Um, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell. I'm then gonna sell one of my beers for. Uh, for seven bucks. For seven bucks, right. Well, I mean, that's good. I did do Which that. Which I think is good. It was one of the best things that I did, yeah, having a lot of those same buildings. So you got two out of three guys taken up, and that was, was that at last your entire turn? That was, yeah, believe it or not, that <laughs> was I one. I will not set that marker. Believe it or not, that was one turn. <laughs> believe it or not. Dave sells his beer. Okay, that's interesting. That's good. <laughs> Thanks for the chapter marker. All right. That's, okay. Uh, that's that. Um, so now we're going, is this where you flip again to top? Yeah, yes. I think we're going. In case you're following along, this is not a board game component. I just made this one. So we're looking at the top numbers now. Are we? So two, one, two. Well, I just got to here. Okay. Just got past A again. So your book? I yeah, think that's I'm book. Your book. I'm a two book. Okay. <laughs> I'm book. So this is my last thing that I get to do before it becomes thing time before it becomes settlement phase time and i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do something pretty sp pretty spectacular i think i hope maybe oh. let's see uh, no so. i've still got my prior sorry i thought all my guys were off but no still you still got, still got, got prior. a prior still got a prior so you can you mm -hmm. may pay me and i have my prior all right so deem explains clue me into the fact that the castle is super sick Yep. So, so one, we'll two, see. three, four, five stone. And how much wood is that? That's uh, six wood. One, two. I might not have enough energy left. Three, four, five, six wood. All that stuff to put the castle in my hills. Very excited about that. I think that's nice. looking pretty good. Uh, and it's then uh, game, since I've got my prior, I'm going to stick point. my prior on it, which means that I get to build one of my settlements. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> which one can I afford? Well, I can afford the market town for sure. Uh, I can afford the shanty town, but I don't want to. I think the market town is the better bet, but I'll be overpaying to build the market town. A little bit. But that's okay. I'd be overpaying by two to build the uh, the the farming village too so that's fine so i'll pay both of these meats in order to build that puppy down oh there. my goodness well, hey what do you I'm think little, of that? i'm a little scared of what's going to go in there personally <laughs> but something with lots of points i hope hopefully hopefully um, uh oh a serious a serious question about the game yes uh <laughs> enhance the game a bit with 3d printed stuff and custom tokens i don't think there are custom tokens are there uh, well, the custom token that Varys might be talking about is this, oh, this janky thing. piece of nonsense yeah, yeah, up here. <laughs> that, that custom token was literally done in 30 seconds. <laughs> as, um, the, as, as the, the clock ticked down. <laughs> uh, is it fun to play? I, I mean, I. that's probably a question of your preference as to how much sort of blinging out your games what adds is value question? to your game. Oh, how is it as fun to play without? I, I mean, I've never I, played with that. I printed this... Because I wanted the stream to go well, not because I was necessarily in love with the game. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, just because without it, it's a little, it's a little jank. It's a little janky. Do I love the game? It felt like, like if you like Uve, and this is Uve Rosenberg month on Nights Around the Table. If you love Uve, it's very Uve. You got like, you know, one one thing I was thinking about doing. I don't know how I'd rig it up, but I was thinking about doing like Uve Rosenberg Bingo. Because a lot of the same stuff, and as his games go through, as he designs them over the years, have like a right. lot of similar elements, right? So these the building extra boards, you can find that in A Feast for Odin, right? Um, this whole, you know, livestock, turn livestock into meat, that's something that comes straight out of Agricola, right? Uh, digging the uh, digging these bogs for peat, well, that's a Farmers of the Moor thing, the expansion to Agricola thing, you know what I mean? So it's, it's just like... A, fields, fields of Arl, too. Yeah, I, I haven't played Fields of Arl, but, it, but yeah, like a lot of... If you like Uve, like you'll feel, it's a w weird way to put it, but you'll feel at home. You'll feel like, yeah, I'm playing an Uve game. And I mentioned earlier on the stream, as, as Cheryl and I were playing last night, Cheryl had a question like, can you do this or would it be this? You know, would it be a restrictive rule that does this or are you free to do this? And she's like, it's an Uve game, so it's the restrictive <laughs> pattern, right? So you just, yeah. you kind of get in the guy's head if you play enough of his of his stuff. So it just feels familiar. Um I don't know where I'd rank it in the Uve stuff that I've, I've played so far, but let's get, get through it. it. No, let's get through it. Yeah. 
I think you were in the midst of I was. castle that was the building. The first thing is I and built the castle. Probably putting your prior on the castle, and, and I now put the you're going to prior on the castle, and I built the market town early. Oops, turning livestock into meat. I thought you were selling well. Not in this one. This is like a very clear. <laughs> you turn the sheep into like a, <laughs> yeah, it's straight up like into like a ham hock or whatever. It's. She's, Stacey Everett, I was wondering if we're carrying the sheep to market in that. No, that's, no, no unfortunately, he's no. he's become more explicit about the way that sheep have become meat in this game. Feed them feed them hay, and they transform into it somehow. And the building is called the Slaughterhouse. It is it's, called the Slaughterhouse. I don't think there's any talking our way around. Uh, it's not a vegan-friendly <laughs> game, let's just say. I think Feast for Odin coming up, though, you can... You can you can shear the sheep for wool through I think through the so, spaces, but you can also so. like hunt whale and get massive well, chunks of whale, whale meat. Bones, yeah, yeah. But the sheep are safe, so okay. I wish I had, I wish I had the clay. I do not have the clay. Maybe I should get the clay right. So we're coming up. This is the last thing that I have to do before I get to build one more of my settlementy things. So really, what I need is to get some food. What's the sheep at there, David? At three? Sheep's at three? Is that what I'm saying? Livestock is at three, or sheep is at three. Correct. So three, three. I could do. I could do that. I could definitely do that, which I would definitely want to. Yeah, it was. So. It was definitely funny with the sheep and Agricola for sure. Agricola. So, right. oops. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to sh sheep it up for sure. Did three. you build your settlement? Yeah, you built yeah, the market town. Okay. So awesome. three sheep, you said? Three sheep for but the, uh, for the but bad guys. But, uh, but, but, uh, and three the, sheep and then all clear, three the of the guys To the bad guys is you. <laughs> there we go. Nope. There you go. He's over there. So you get one more turn before One more turn hits. before the settlement. So And snack time. And snack time, which, is, Ooh, which is important. And the puzzle that we're going to solve. Okay. Today. It's an exciting one if you like puzzles. So I got I got this five stone, and now I don't have <laughs> anything nothing, to spend it on. Nothing to do with it. Um. Mm -hmm. What is money at? We're at six for yes, money. Yes, David Stone. That's correct. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> ah shoot! <laughs> if there's one common is thread, your, is your is your money is your money building available? It is. Thank you for the money. I'm going to put that there. So I get six money, right? Uh, it's at, s yes, six. Do you want to zero no, that for zero. me? Sorry, just to show the people I went from here to here with the money. All right, now. Now what? Now I'm going to spend 20 bucks. <gasps> He's doing it. He's buying the Grand Manor. And I'm going to buy the Grand Manor. So two barrels of whiskey... I've got five five tokens and a one. Whiskey can be sold for two bucks at any time. I hope so. <laughs> because otherwise this doesn't work. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, I'm going to put the Grand Manor. It needs to go coast, plains, or hillside. So I'll build it in my... And then I'll put the prior on it. Or will I use any? I can pay a whiskey. What have you got, Occupado over there? Occupado is just the money one. Just the just money need, one. The money's at zero. Just the stone one. And but just the, that just, one. Uh, the Joker's at three. The Joker's at three. So it'd be three money if you used my building. But you could also use one of your occupied buildings. I could, but I've only got ones that are not. I think that building's more. Eight worth it's it's just worth the point points. so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna burn the prior and the the whiskey okay. um so that's my turn we need three more followers to stacy anyone, anyone anyone bueller <laughs> i'd love it if ferris bueller wanted to follow dave is would. dave is stoned yes i have a lot of stones but i'm not <laughs> there's a common thread between the people i've invited them. to be on this stream with me it's that their they're all dave. very nervous about being fired from their jobs for anything that happens on the stream don't worry i got you covered uh, if you'll recall, <laughs> when uh, when Sean joined the street, the very first thing I opened up with was uh, the OnlyFans logo. <laughs> the <laughs> shock like, on his face it. for a split second was worth the gag. Great, here we go. Settlement. Lots of things are going to happen now. So, 
we go like this and we take the house and we take it off of D and right off of the board because D is the final settlement phase. So that's step one. Well, I, what? I think oh, we're right. going to put it back that was what wherever we, we agreed, which yes. I think was here. So normally in a two-player game, I mentioned this earlier in the stream, you would take it and put it off and then in a three or four player game, you play 25 rounds with the bonus round on the 25th round where you get to put your prior like anywhere you want, even in an occupied building, even when it's not your building, and then you do a, a, an E settlement phase after that. Two players, it's a, quite a bit different. You take, you're take you supposed to take this blue house off and just like stick it over here. It doesn't really matter. And this thing just like goes blah, 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 blah as everyone just uses their everything. engine, racks up points until we get down to one building remaining. But... That is boring. <laughs> I found out that I played last night, and it's it's not a very exciting climax to the game. And some people on BGG were recommending that instead, why don't you take it and like decide on a set number of rounds after that. So we agreed at the beginning of the game we were going to put it on this single-player A wedge. So this is how many turns there are until the end of the game. Yeah. So far, so good? Okay. So quite a few. Yeah. We'll be yeah. able to do some things. We're good. All right. So first thing, uh, are you going to build a district? Or a landscape tile. A district or a, I forget. Uh, what am I paying? Five? Four bucks over here, five bucks over there. I mean, I'd be spending only whiskey to do that, so I don't think so. Okay, and I don't think I even have the wherewithal to do it, so... Stuff to make that's, pancakes. That's out for me, so instead let's just build our little our little settlements. So the one that I can afford... Yeah, I think... ...is going to cost me... Three bucks. Yeah, I think unfortunately the only one I can Three afford bucks. is the market town, which is a bit. I overpaid a little bit, but. Which is a bit sad, but. Uh, so I've got to pay seven, which is going to be a beer and a whiskey, I guess. That also seems very inefficient, but that's what I have. All right. All right. And that's how you're looking. All right, snack and time. This is how I'm looking. Yes, it is snack time at last. Snack so. time, and then it's going to be your turn. Okay, perfect. great. Snack time and my turn. So join us. If you've got a snack, then it's time to bust it out. Uh, the snack that we will be feasting on this evening uh, in true monk fashion, the medieval style, is going to be imported Walker's Cheese and Onion Potato Chips. I'm very excited about this. Sorry, it's blocking your face, but do you have the bags? No, Are they probably nearby? not. So oh, no. I'm going to be... You have to, but you're mic'd, remember? You're going to... Oh, no, shoot. How far are they? Oh, no, our snacks are they're stranded. In the, they're in the bin all the way down oh, there. Oh, no, they're in the bin. Uh, oh, you can unclip, though. You can unclip. Oh, no, that's going to take That's gonna take too long. Can we get David? Does he have enough tether? What can if we? you just unplug me and turn it off? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we can do that. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the puzzle, and Great then uh, I'll put the puzzle up, and you guys can solve the puzzle while we're getting the snack. Just one moment, please. Do -do -do -de -de -do. Here it is. Figures out I'm looking for the name of a board game as David goes and gets our snack. There it is. Here it comes. And it's not showing up. Oh, no. We need it to show up. Just give me, give me, one, give me one moment here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah. back i hope we're back and we're back there we go okay there's your puzzle please figure out the board game that i'm trying to think of while david goes and gets uh gets us a snack go for it david it's like doing a space walk i can't mute you you're just gonna go uh, yeah. actually here i'll, I'll well I'll... you're gonna you gotta like untether me though or
Chris is see, thinking about it. Stacy's thinking about it. Now remember, I'm looking for the name of one game. What game are the blue people from? I think they're from Agricola. I'm looking for one game, though. Meanwhile, cheers to or you. Or am I sorry? I mean, I don't know the answer, so can I answer the question? You can figure it out if you want okay. to as we enjoy a snack. This won't be loud at all. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I think Agricola 06 with stickers. Yeah, those stickers are from the goodies. Mm. So, mm -hmm. am I, I am allowed to do this, right? Yeah, I don't know it. the answer. So, Agricola, mm -hmm. Ticket to Ride, Everdell, and this game? Or some sort of <laughs> generic Uwe, Uwe game? <laughs> mm. that, that does show up in a bunch of different games. Sure. Which might be a hint that the game that these pieces came from doesn't matter at all. Mm hmm exactly. Generic Uwe Wood. But how does that get you a name of a board game? I don't know. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. What do you think of Walker's uh, cheese and onion potato chips? Oh, good, good. Aren't they spectacular? They're from, uh, they're imported from the UK. I don't know what the expiry date is on <laughs> chips, but they, 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 they seem fresh. No, they mm -hmm. seem really fresh. No, so Stacy, she's, she's she's getting closer. They, no, it's they not have, about the games they came from. They have expired, but they have okay. <laughs> Whatever. You only live once, and maybe short in life, you eat expired chips all the time. You got to put them together, says Stacy, and it equals a game. Hmm. Good reasoning, Stacy. Stacy, you figured it out, and you're shepherding everybody else through it, or you're helping everybody else decide. Hmm. This is the Chevy Chase Doritos commercial crunching. I, I haven't seen that commercial. Yeah, the bridge does look like it's from Catan. I guess it could be from like Terra Mystica. So those top three pieces, the uh, the two farmers and that's a one of the fences in the middle. Oh, that's a fence. In yeah, Agricola. those are all, okay. all three from Agricola. The next pieces next to those are all from Everdell. Railroad Those Revolution. Railroad Revolution. A good guess. I don't know how you arrived at it, Moran, but let me know. Hmm. I have no idea. I just know how the puzzle works. I think you've you've cottoned on to some of the secrets of how the puzzle works, but I don't know that you've had the one huge aha moment that the puzzle requires. I'll drop a hint shortly, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, here comes a hint. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Hint is, this is a code-breaking puzzle. Mm, I like what you're thinking. Farming, forest, travel, that's interesting. That's an interesting way. But this is a, yeah, this is a, a code-breaking puzzle. There's a code happening here. If it's Morse code, then I'm not going to know what the, the letters are. No, no. It's dot, dash, dash, dot. Dash dot dash 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 dash. Da 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 da. David's the skinny guy, so he doesn't have to finish the whole bag of chips. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish. You don't have to finish the whole bag. No, no, they're really like, they're like kind of like sour cream and onion, but not. Like it's like a lighter. Like that sour cream is that really, I mean, I don't mind it. It's got the dairy. It's really strong mm -hmm. flavor. And these are like the same feeling mm. without that strong. Now, a lot of the snacks that we've had on stream, I haven't tried before. But these I have tried before because I love them. They're one of my favorite chips in existence. Prawn cocktail is another flavor you can only get in the UK. I don't know if I'm so big on prawn cocktail. I don't know if I would eat prawn cocktail like the actual thing, let alone chips flavored like prawn cocktail. But, hmm. Okay. Three, 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 one. That's another interesting way to break codes, too. Yes. And then the threes R might map on to. Oh, what do you got, David? R O O T. Root. I David did it. done it. Yeah, he did it. Our chips fly out of my mouth. That's right. The secret was that it's Morse code. Top left letter. Like R. The, mm -hmm. the Agricola one was the one that mm -hmm. looked. Most like Morse code to me. Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. Let me uh, let me throw that up in the overlays. In case you're wondering, 
overlays, rebus. I don't know why my puzzle is not working. Things like Tanakh. I had there no. It is. There you go. I had no prior knowledge of this and had never seen it before. <laughs> like this was just awesome, cool. You guys like that one? So just I, talked it through. I mentioned it before, but I used to uh, administer uh, an event called Puzzle Pint every single month, where you would go and uh, walk into a pub or something. You'd have to solve a puzzle to find out where the event was, and then you'd walk into a pub or something. We'd hand you a package of puzzles. You'd sit down and solve it over beer or chicken wings or whatever you want to do with friends, and uh, a lot of them were. Uh, this is, I mean, this would be like baby mode, but a lot of them were along those lines. So, if you like puzzles, I hope so, because I'm a puzzle designer. I've been a game designer for, for nigh on 20-something years, and the one, of the, one type of game that I design are these kind of hunt-style puzzles for various clients, including the people who make Pokemon Go and the Canadian Broadcasting Company, and I had an escape room business for a while. So I like that kind of stuff. If you like that kind of stuff, too, stick with me. I'll make more things for you. I want to finish the rest of my chips, but I also want to finish the rest of this game. So the so, thing that we forgot... Oh, I didn't build my thing, did I? Or did I? I did. I did, I did build my thing. So, so we get an extra So, card. Poppy, I did... You're right. I did... You wrote it before I said it. Yeah, I think you actually did, because as soon as I did say it, I looked up and it was there. So oh, I did think Poppy, Poppy actually did get look it at just, that. just kind of moments before. Did you... Were you also Googling the Morse code chart like I was? I think <laughs> I think Poppy is like a World War II bomb girl and knows the whole thing. Oh, okay, hearts. well, yes. that's him. Poppy was like cracking the enigma before any of us knew what was going on. So these are these hilltop villages are the extra, the final possible oh, okay. settlements we that we get. 30 food, my goodness. Mm -hmm. 30 food and, what, 3 energy to build that And puppy. only on a hillside. Mm -hmm. Wowzers. Mm-hmm. Little rotate things so they're flush and square. Look at that. That's the building I was talking about. Let me get yeah, a, the, get in a little bit closer. Stream. So the sacristy takes all the valuable stuff, the book and the pottery and the and the ornament and the reliquary and turns Turned it into, into a big old wonder. Points. And then down here, which you may be way more interested in, five bucks and a whiskey gets you one of them. A wonder. And how many whiskeys do you have? Lots, I think. What's this 14 mean? Oh, right, and you have to spend 14 points. <laughs> how do you spend points? Anything that has points on it, you spend it to the tune of 14. Hmm. And this was one of those situations I was talking about where we were like, what if you overspend? We were like, oh, it's an Uve game. You probably lose those points. Probably. So, yeah. Uh, great. I can't remember if you can make change. There was one where you could make change, and I don't know if that was it. So what's so what's new here? New is the, the sacristy. That's the, the Bacchanal ground. one. Okay. Right, so you get a, uh, you spend a beer and then you get points per moor or forest and you represent those with like books or whatever. Yep. You get to choose and it might matter because you might need to you use them to blow that, up here. Right. Macquarie has still not been built. We still haven't built the whiskey distillery, which, no, which, which makes rental weird. more expensive. Rental is very cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, House of the Brotherhood, five, pay five? Where are pay you five, here? right? Yeah, you pay five bucks one time. To get time. two points. Two points per, per yellow cloister, cloister building, building. that you have. So if somebody else has that building in their in their diocese, you can rent their building to get points for your cloister Through buildings. buildings. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Okay, cool. Mm. Let's. Uh, My great aunt was working on Enigma for real. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's awesome. That is cool. I was close then. I I made an eye. Uh, that wise yeah, that was I. You're. I don't know. It must be carrying over from the wingspan. Uh, Poppy's an interesting person, into all kinds of fascinating things, I think. Yeah, I wrote a, I read a really, um, no, I'm not going to remember the author, so it's almost meaningless to give him. Douglas, <laughs> Douglas Adams. No, we know yeah. it. We already know it wasn't Douglas Adams. But you were going to say. No, but it was, a, it, was a really, it was a really interesting book about um, counterintelligence. Um, and one of the sort of themes of it is how they actually used, you know, part of how they cracked how they actually cracked Enigma was the their the like the Germans uh, sending machines were very, very faulty, so they would actually repeat the code three times, hmm. and the first thing they would always use is the weather. So they kind of used they ended up being able to like they also had the code breaking all of that stuff, but like the Germans were ending up sending like these crib keys out almost hmm. to their cipher. And that allowed them to break it a lot easier. And, and the book was about sort of counterintelligence around. They had to make sure that they did a, like, so they started being able to read these and by whatever time of the day they'd broken them. 
but the counterintelligence was around making sure that they so it would say where the u-boats were and then so they do all these things they broadcast these messages that they knew would be intercepted to say oh we're just going to go patrol in this area for fun right but they really knew there was a u-boat so it, it, it was it's a really interesting book and it got into uh I mean, it was, I'm not sure how much of it was true, but and it got into, like, Van Eck freaking and stuff, which is the ability to, like, take the radio act, radiation off a monitor to read it. Anyways, cool. we're going, now we're going off to, I will look up the book, so at least. I think that was one of the most heartbreaking things about the code-breaking stuff was that they'd break the code, but then they wouldn't want the enemy to know that the code mm -hmm. was broken, so they couldn't go and stop all the bombings and the raids or anything. They kind of, like... Had yeah. to let some through, which was like I let some of your people die just yeah. so that you can keep the you secret. Can keep the secret. It's right. rough. I have been called a, a counterintelligence before. <laughs> it's my nickname in high school. Great. Here we go. All right. Who's here turn? Here we go. Home stretch. Your turn. Yes, my turn. Settlements are built. Yes. We're in the home stretch. I got a lot of resources. <laughs> yeah. Let me you take. You don't let have me, as many resources. Let me take inventory. No, I've 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 squandered many of my resources. And, you need uh, something big to put in your. I do some some big fat juicy, honking thing yeah, right there's there. There's a festival ground. There's a couple of things that are. Yeah, let's take a look, eh? Doing all right. The, let's take a look, eh? What a couple of hosers on the stream. Uh, <laughs> the festival ground I don't like because it costs a lot of money that I don't have, and it gets me points for moors that I don't also have. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's not my my favorite, but basically I need two, possibly three buildings. Right. I remember. I rem I recall. I recall what I need to do, for sure, to get. Oh, you know what? Yeah. 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 Oh, hillside. Damn it, hillside. Damn <laughs> you, round tower. Damn you. Damn it. What I need to do is as follows. I need to take a guy, put it on clay in order to move the clay from six to zero. Yeah, there's a lot uh, of resources yeah, now because I, we've been uh, doing other stuff. We've been doing lots of other stuff. So it was six clay, right? One, two, three, four, and two more make six. And with those six clay, back to the board. So now I have all the clay that I could possibly want, but it's a lot of yellow buildings and they have to go adjacent to your stuff. And really what I want to do is fill in these three holes right here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. especially are, that center one. Those are your lucrative. Mm hmm So looking back at these buildings. And here you're running out of buildings to put in there. I am. But I think the bulwark would be a pretty good candidate. Yep, that's good. Yeah, so two wood, four clay. Do I have the two wood? I don't. Great. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well let me let me sort let me sort by what's possible to go in there. So that can go in there. This can go in there. Um, the whiskey distillery. The could. whiskey distillery can and go in it. there, and that those are the only three that can go in there. And I've kind of kind of tipped my hand now. Um, so well, you, that was always that was always going to be the case. Mm hmm. I mean, that's one thing I didn't know from not looking at the buildings in advance. I don't know if there was going to be some big like twenty point, <laughs> mm -hmm. massive, linky building, right? But let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, so really, like keeping things close to home, close to your cloister, is kind of like a better, a better plan. Hmm. Can't do the bul bulwark because I don't have the wood, and I can't get the wood because I don't. I can't clear any forest left. I've, I've clear cut. Oh no, I've got one more forest. I've got one more forest right up here. I thought I'd yeah, clear I've got, cut it. I've all. got two more. You've got two, but I can't clear your forest. No. But I just want to make sure that you're not going to, like, take it from me. You know what I mean? I don't know if I should play that defensively, but... I'm not even sure what... I'm not sure what to do. It's too, yeah. Okay. So, I, I guess I'll use the Joker to take four wood as sort of a defensive thing, because I know you yep. have a building that... Yeah, I was probably going to do that. Yeah. So, oh, thank goodness I came up with that. 
the four wood, and I think that's my second thing, right? So you're up. Um, what was your first thing? What was my first thing? My first thing was taking all that clay. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Boop, boop, boop. On the top, so I'm first. Stone would be profitable. You lots guys see the food, movie Imitation Game? I just read that Imitation Game, there was a lot of, it wasn't Hollywood, it was a British-made film, but there was a lot of uh, Hollywood bending of life details. Apparently, uh, Turing was a really personable guy that everybody liked. He wasn't like the insufferable antisocial nerd that you know had trouble getting along at parties like they depicted him. Uh, or um, if you want to drop the grain off, I've decided to sure. activate my farmyard and do some... Uh, do some grain harvesting. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Boink. But it was a good movie. You're right. It was cool. It was cool, too, that they built, like, a whole prop uh, Enigma machine. Or not, it was pre-Enigma machine. It was before they even developed it. It was the huge computer that he built out of, like, f tumblers and steam, like the steampunk computer. It was, it was pretty awesome. All right, let's build the... Let's go ahead and then build the sacristy. Probably saying that wrong. Sacristy, I think. So three Sac stone, oh, and no, I I'm flipped saying two of my sacristy. green. That can go coast plains or hillside. Mm -hmm. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Neither of us has feigned an Irish accent yet. Perhaps that's for the best. Put it there, actually. So you took one of the one of the three buildings that I could. No, nope, it was. Oh no, uh, you didn't. I did not. That was a. Um, didn't you? It was these two and. No, you didn't. What was the third one? Oh, it was the whiskey distillery. So, so I took that and I took that and my three guys come off, so they are available for thing. I think you've got to. It is open season. You got to. Great. We're all looking at the top. Yep, round two. Ooh, ten stone. One two. Seven turns. Seven turns for each of us? No, total. Oh, seven turns total. So yep, I get so this one, down to the two, three, four, four. I get four turns. We'll just make sure we end on even turns, whatever. Like if that's off, I think yeah. that'll be most fair. <laughs> be, take some math because it's a 13-sided wheel. I don't know. You well, as long, like, <laughs> you do it, as, long as, as long as it ends on your turn, oh, it ends on mine, because right. you were second. So. Okay, cool. Can you build yeah. over your buildings? Not no. in two player, but in one player, you must over or you run out of room, which you will on the dummy player's board. So you can put buildings on top of buildings. You have to do that. Um, and that sort of like covers up stuff that maybe you want to use because you know you can use other people's buildings. But no, multiplayer, that's it. The space you got is the space you got, which is why there are so many options for building all these extra boards, right? Mm -hmm. Back all right, to it. Good night. Good night, Stacy. Thank you so much for Stacey, joining. Thanks so much, and we hope to see you on the on the Discord at last. We've been awaiting your arrival, and thank you for uh, thank you for backing me on Patreon. Uh, again, if you want to be cool like Stacy, or if you want your sins forgiven uh, tonight, your board game sins specifically, not real sins, but like sins that don't really matter, then we're we're the two brothers to do it. So uh, just uh, give us a give us a follow on Twitch. That's what that purple follow button looks like. Or on uh, heck, we'll do it for YouTube too. Why not? Why not? And Why that's not? what subscribe button looks like. Look at all these graphics. <laughs> I worked so hard on that, that one so I purchased, on, but so. you've probably seen it on other channels. <laughs> Great. Gotcha. All right, here we go. So I did all of that in order to build that bulwark building. Is that another one with weird pronunciation? It's pronounced like bulwark or something? No, 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 I'm I not don't sure. Know. I don't Good know. question. Two, uh, four clay, one, two, three, four, and dos widows. Mm. Look, I speak Spanish, uh, da, da, do, 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 and Latin, and, and that'll plunk right down in there to make good on all that juicy jazz. Cool, and that was my first thing. My second thing, my second thing will be, let me think, let me think. It's going to take oh, so much food, so much food, 30 food, 13, oh, this is nonsense. If I want to do that, hold on, back to here, it's 10 bucks. I don't know if I can do the 10 bucks. What's gold at? It's at two. That's not going to happen. I don't have anything I can sell to make money. I've been pretty anemic money-wise in this whole game. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, your, um, your lighthouse or whatever, or your shipyard, something. I got five bucks from something you got over there. 
Oh, I know what I want to do. Do you have anything that gets a book? I think you do. Do I have anything that gets a book? I've got the Sacred Site, which mm -hmm. gets one book. Let's see. And I've got the Scriptorium, which also gives a book. And then they both do they I both also get other. Do I have to pay things for the privilege? Well, both of those. Yeah, the, the Scriptorium would mm -hmm. cost a coin. The other one is the Sacred Site is free. Sacred Site gets me what? A book, either a two grain or two malt, and either a beer or a whiskey. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pay you a buck to do okay. to get a a book and then two malt and uh, whiskey, right? Yep, that's okay. valid. Fantastic. So there's my book. Uh, whoops, that's not my book. That is my book, and that's my two malt. This is the first malt I've had in the entire game, I believe. Malt, malt. It doesn't want to come out of the. Two malt. Oh, that's bread. Bread's for fr Frenchies. <laughs> two malt and two. One whiskey or two whiskey? One whiskey. One whiskey. Two malt, but one whiskey. Stingy, David. Stingy. Yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, whiskey. Grand. Um, so let's say that I did that first, and the second thing I did was I built the bulwark, bulwark and then I put my dude in a hat on it. Fair enough? Because sure. I needed the book in order to. So I yep. paid, the, I paid the book in, and I get one free district and one free free plot what's a free district uh so back to here this is a district this is a plot oh you get one of each yep oh wow yep. i mean they aren't inherently any points by themselves but no they're not they may That's enable correct. so it almost doesn't matter <laughs> where i stick the oh yeah it does because i really I, I desperately want this I'm covering up all my resources. Hey, you know what? We haven't had to look in the rule book for like more than once. That's pretty no, amazing. No, it's really good. I, I, I thought I would be like the appendix brother who would <laughs> yeah, I thought be so too. doing nothing but searching the appendix for, uh, for stuff. This so. is going to look ugly, but I'm just going to pull out just a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, we had talked about fixing Oh, that. during snack time we were going to do that. Didn't happen. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to do that on mine. Yours so. is more complicated than mine is. Like I said, mine is just a grab it and go but yours is more of a challenge does that look pretty good that's, that looks pretty good oh Oops. like i'd actually need to move like the arm you need to up. unscrew things okay so. all right well we'll think about it all right good i think that was me oh cool let's go uh so this all now if you're playing the one player game uh in the multiplayer game two and up the beam just pushes the resources, mm -hmm. but if you're playing a one-player game, they get to... yanked right out of the game. Like, they don't exist anymore, so they're at zero permanently. Well, that's scary. Yeah. It's like no stone for the rest of the game. Good job keeping the rules gremlin at bay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't shown up either. Poor rules gremlin. Um, I think he's getting lonely. I am going to build... I'm going to play... I'm going to pay a clay and a stone... Um, to build the House of the Brotherhood. And then I'm going to immediately activate it. I'm going to spend all my whiskey and money very inefficiently to get two points per cloister building. So I have five. And what token are you going to take those in? Uh, I'm definitely going to take a reliquary. And then unfortunately I am one point short of the one I would want, so I'll have to take a book. So there are different ways to earn points at the end of the game. One of the ways is just the yellow shield. I mentioned all this off the top, but if you're just joining us, the yellow shield on each building gets you points, straight up. Certain goods, like David's taking, will get you additional points. So if you have, um, if you have a fiver for money, that's worth a couple points. Um, the whiskey is worth a couple points. And any of the fancy process stuff, like there's an ornament that gets you points, there's pottery that gets you points. Uh, there, uh, you can change a bunch of that stuff into a wonder, which is like 30 points, which is the big, the big cash. Um, and then <laughs> I think... <laughs> Poppy says, I love that the brotherhood, the, the house just of the brotherhood is just about just boozing, boozing yeah. it up. Yeah, um, some commentary so I'll going trash. On I'll trash a peat, a wood, and a. I'll trash a peat, a wood, and a grain, uh, to get 
uh, to get myself six dollars with my um, cloister courtyard. That's my second action because that was like a build in a prior thing. So there we go. Okay. Bougouge. And then everybody comes back, so you may pay me yeah. for my. And I might still no distillery. Surprisingly, shockingly, no distillery. We've kept that kept that on the board the entire time. Okay. Looking back at my board, here's what I've got going on. I wanted to fill in either this one or this one with one of these two buildings. Can I afford them? The answer is no. Can I afford them? No. No or not yet? <laughs> Straight up no. But, but... In the name of just straight up getting points, I could buy that that tower, that round tower. But then that would kind of open it up to you, I think. Did you just get rid of all your... My stone is... No, 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 your, your whiskey. My whiskey is all gone. Your whiskey is all gone, but you could get mm. it back pretty easy. I could get it back with the Joker if you don't. Yeah, I think that's risky. That's a risky click. I don't think I'll do that. I think it's still down to these ones to maximize what I've done. I think I've spread out too much, but... Ten bucks. Ten bucks is zero percent going to happen based on what's happening <laughs> on this wheel. I don't have anything to sell to be able to get up to ten bucks. So really, what I got to do, um, David, what do you have that gets wheat? Like normal wheat or my farm? All my stuff is available. So my farmyard. Yeah, you know your farmyard, but do you have anything that gets it more efficiently? No. Okay. I mean, I have stuff that gets it for free, like the sacred site, but not... Was this... Right. I mean, it gives two wheat and a bunch of other stuff, so that is more efficient. Yes, that's what I meant. Unless that's, you want to take I'm the Joker at. for... Yeah. Unless I want to take the Joker. For three instead of two. But what does the sacred site get? It gets wheat and... Two points and a whiskey or a beer. Seems better, though, doesn't it? I would... I think so. Yes. I mean, the two points has to be... So I'll give you a buck... Okay, great, thank so you. So I'm going to get two wheat. It's two wheat, right? Two wheat, a book, and either a beer or a whiskey. Two wheat, a book, and either a beer or a whiskey. Oh, I'm in the wrong bucket again. A book, and either a beer or a whiskey. I have a whiskey. What's the thing that takes beer and whiskey? Is that? Do we ever build that? This thing, eh? The Unbuilt. chapel. Unbuilt, and I have the... The stuff for it, which makes super sense. Was that that was just your first action, right? Yep. Okay. All right, ten points. But it would mean that I can't get the whiskey distillery. And the whiskey distillery, this is a way better, way better option. Although the whiskey distillery lets me plunk it right down in multiple thing land. Hmm. But then it would count me out of paying you for stuff because I have no money and I want to use your things and I wouldn't be able to afford to pay you anymore. Right. I think that. Yeah, we've we very cleverly avoided that the mm -hmm. entire game. I think the whiskey distillery is worth more money. To yeah, you, long you definitely got to plunk something down in that spot, or you're. Yeah, I have to. And giving away a as, lot of uh, as the options are limited, I think I'm going to do the whiskey distillery. So I'll flip these two wheat into hay and get that whiskey distillery going. All so right. now, because, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 let's get it on camera. Okay, do it. <laughs> Here it is, the, whoops, the big flip. So now it costs two bucks two in bucks. order to rent other people's things. Or some, or some, two bucks or a drink. I think just whiskey. I don't think they take beer, right? No, just whiskey. Just whiskey. Yeah, nobody wants it's a whiskey. Cheap beer. It's a whiskey economy. Mm hmm. And it's back to you. Yeah. I've um. Or I've, Clemens Franz. I've gone very. Uh, I've gone very minimalist with my um, board presence here, because I've kept deciding that <laughs> spending money on certain things is is somehow better. Uh, Poppy's concerned that the 
crappy perspective vanishing line on the roof of the chapel will throw off the feng shui of my of my board. Um, so I'm going to spend another five bucks to get another ten points in. Yeah, I think that's bad. I think that's bad that you know when your opponent is just over there just buying points. And you're like, nah, this is a. Uh, uh, and then I'm good. going to really buy points. Uh oh. Is it wonder time? That is the wonder. Oh, uh, no, that's me losing the game. Da -da -da -da. Uh, no. Celebrate, brothers. We have achieved our great. Uh, no, that means I kind of have to, like, get a wonder or lose the game, really? Right? No, 30 totally. points. Totally. 30 points. That's yeah, but 30, I spent. That's 30 points. But to be fair, I spent 17 points to get. Yeah, you 30. doubled your points. Well, no, wow. you. Plus five coins, plus whatever. I mean, it's a, it's an yeah. interesting. I'll have to look at this game subsequently. It's an interesting. Anyways. It mentions in the almanac um, that you are up points after all of that. Hang on. Anytime you buy. I don't think I moved this. Okay. Again, I didn't play with it, right? Because we're top. Yep. yep. Or did we we're miss top. flipping that? We're top. No, we're top because it was yep. top, then bottom, then top. Uh, so that was my turn. Now that's your turn. Still 10. Seven on the wood. Who wants wood? Nobody. Nobody. And my buildings are all available again. Nice to know. If I can manage to get 10 bucks somehow. Or the chapel still. Hmm. Where the heck is <laughs> where the heck is clay gone? Where even is it? Oh, right there. Four, Four clay. And that crummy, crummily drawn chapel. Or I can try to get 10 bucks and try to build this festival ground in order to make good on a couple more of my settlements. Because otherwise, my whole game was about building settlements. So what was the point? <laughs> thank, thank you, Poppy. Yeah, it's, it's always fun in these games to build one of those like sort of end game or you know what you see as like an end game type of thing. It's good to get there. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty bad about myself. Um, oh yeah. What do you have that gives me ten dollars, David? Nothing, eh? Okay. What do I have that gives you? I mean, I have six. You have something that gives me six dollars? Yeah, the cloister courtyard, three different goods for six identical basic. Which oh can yeah. Be so that would give you six. Um, what else? Yeah. Mm hmm. I mean, there's that. Oh, wait. I'm here's something like I'm, I'm not forgetting. Tell you how to do that. Oh, here's something I'm forgetting. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> a plan hatches. A plan, I say. Okay. Oh, yes. So you can build another, another extra settlement? Yes. Nice. All I would need... <laughs> 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 oh god uh, all I would need do you have anything that activates the the old peat thing without clearing peat oh wait I have forest mm, down here no. that I didn't put on when I put this uh, this board on a forest at the bottom is there a peat bog no, no I, you I, did the I empty used the non-peat okay. bog, gotcha. which was a foolish, foolish choice. It was a mistake. Mistake. Well, six, uh, what is it? six sheep. Time, time for the hair shirt. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what a hair shirt is? It's, uh, it's like a... Um, s okay, so you know, <laughs> in order to become closer to God. Now, this is not a tenet of, of Uwe... Rosenberger Christianism. This is no. this is this is Catholicism. But um, in order to to draw nearer to God, um, some some adherents would hurt themselves, to, ah. and the pain would help them focus on God. So one of the things they do is self-flagellate. So that's with the whip, and they right, right, do right. this. Gotcha, right. Gotcha. The hair shirt was like picture the most itchy, bristly shirt, like made yeah, of hair okay, okay, that's turned gotcha. inside out, and then you put it on. <laughs> Man, I don't even like. I don't even like wool sweaters. No, but it's like that teased oof. and inside outed and, Awful. and put on there. Awful. <laughs> Awful. All right. The hair shirt. You know what? I do have a bit of a natural hair shirt, though. And, no, it gets it. <laughs> Great. Back to it. Brother Ryan, what can we... What can we do? Uh, so, okay. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. The sheep... It's six sheep. 
they're worth two food apiece, so that would be 12, plus the two that I already have, and that would be 14. No, you're trying to build the hilltop village. 14 food, yes. And then I would have whiskey, which is also worth food. And then nine energy. I can't do it. I can't do the energy. I cannot do it. Can't do it. I can't do it. But I must do it. What's wood at? Wood is at seven. Yeah, there's lots of wood. Yeah, so if I take the... Seven energy for seven wood, yeah. Yeah, if I take the... If I clear the forest and take the wood... If I clear the forest and take the wood... And then get the sheep... Then I'd have enough next turn to do it. I think it's worth it. Mm -hmm. I think it's worth it, yeah. Sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, he's like, just take your turn. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to take the wood at seven. So seven wood, and I'm going to put my guy on sheep and take how many sheep? It's going to be seven, sh uh, seven wood and six, six sheep. sheep. Seven wood, six sheep. Here we go. So put you can... Put dudes on your... Nope. I don't you? know if that... what I do. Your board. Do you want to see your board? Nah, because it's just me fishing in this thing. Gotcha. Some oh, so your turn is... That's it. That's the two things that I got to do. All right. Awesome. So we move it along. I am first. So me, Ryan, me, Ryan. Okay. So it looks like we've each got... We're each down to two turns. So we are really getting down to the... I'm going to do some... Ooh. I'm gonna chop. I'm gonna chop wood for one wood. <laughs> There's a joker. Yeah, I know, but I'm gonna use the joker to get deer. Maybe. I mean, my other thing would be to turn that into deer. Yeah. I mean, I know this is kind of silly, but I am gonna chop down my wood forest for one wood. Really? Yeah. Because I only need three then to activate the cooperage, which the gives me five. Stuff. Which gives me five, and I'm gonna take deer because I need I need the food for my own nefarious purposes. Sorry, I don't even have the camera. Right. There it is. Yeah, that's okay. Um, <laughs> but no, it is it is interesting, and I I can I I see what you were saying about like you built all this stuff and you got this good engine going, and then you're looking at your engine and going. I never want to do these actions. They're not, <laughs> yeah. they are simply not good enough. Here's Veer saying, thanks for suffering through this game so others won't have to. Veer, not a big fan of War at Labora, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good comment. It's a, I, anyways, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll give our final thoughts we'll, after. Yeah, we'll get to the end of it. After my. So those are both of your things. That was it. So I get. You got two turns left. Two turns, eh? Yeah, I think that's how we're gonna. Okay. That's how we're gonna swing it. I got one, you got two. So let me puzzle through it. <laughs> let me puzzle through it. What did I get all that wood for? I can't even remember. Uh, burn. Because to burn. To burn. Because I wanted to. Yes, I wanted to burn it in order to get the village going. So I'm gonna put this guy in the castle in order to burn. 15 food, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and a malt is 15, and then 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, I've got one wood left, and that village is going to go uh, 5 and 4, 2 and 4, I think, I think here is the most pointsy place to put it, so let me get rid of all this stuff. And meanwhile, let me think about my next. Ugh. Ugh. I know I have one wood left, and all this stuff has to go. It's on the floor. That's all fine. That's fine. We'll clean up later. <laughs> Chuck it against the wall. Okay. And for my next trick, boy, yes, my next trick is going to be building the. Building the. Round Tower and Hillside, eh? 
six points nine, which I wouldn't be able to activate. But I don't want you. You're going for it, aren't you? Aren't you? You totally are. You totally are. How much whiskey do you have, David? Zero. Zero whiskey currently. I've only got two turns left. I'm. Hmm. I'm out of. Yeah, I shouldn't be so. I'm defensive. out of a lot of options. Here. Yeah. Same. Well, I think that. I think that. Yeah, I don't think building the round tower is probably in my. Well, I, I mean, I could, I guess. I don't. I think I've got a better. I think I've got a better option. Yeah. Let me think. 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 Okay. I think. Yeah. Okay. I think honestly, I'm probably just taking money and. Anyways, I shouldn't tell you what I'm going to do. No, don't tell me. That's, me. that's nonsense. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Let me think. So I could, like, what I could do... His next turn, if it's available, <coughs> use my shanty town. But I have to use my castle, and then to do that, I have to free things up. So I have to put my man in a hat on something on this turn, in order to use to the castle, unblock your guys to unblock yeah. my guys. Yep. And in order to do that, I need to hang on to a fuel. So there's my fuel, and one food, which could be this. So that would buy me that grant. So. I'm going to use my man in the hat to get some clay, I believe. Man in the hat to get some six clay. clay. And clay is at six. Sure. And it goes to zero. <laughs> He's like, yes. I don't <laughs> I know that sure. It's the sure of somebody who's happy that his opponent has made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I just probably want to be able to do the turn I want to do. That's where I am now. And this is your final turn. Are you done? Well, that was two things, I believe. What was the second? Clay and? Clay and, uh-oh, now we're, we're going back. Clay and, what was the other thing I did? just want to make sure you're not Brother I, Ryan. I, I, I went on the castle in order to play. Uh, build the, play. okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, you're probably not going to like this Veercast, I'm not a big fan of, uh, of Orat Labora, let us know. I don't know if you're still here. Just, Veercast just pops in and goes, whoa, Orat Labora, I'm uh, rage quit. Actually, I think I missed. Did I miscalculate? Uh oh. Uh oh. Were you looking for one more wonder? Yeah, but I don't have the. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah, I did the thing where you think you can do. Where you think you can do three things and you can't. So let me make sure. I've got enough to do that. I got enough to do that. Like, I'll be able to drop that down, which is really nice. Um, I mean, that's just turning five coins into ten points, which is eight points. What's a better, do I have a better option than eight points? I mean, I can't really activate the tower. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's fold that. Seven. So take seven gold, pay five of it. We're getting down to the end of the game. This is yeah. Brother David's final turn. He takes and then I just seven take, gold. And then I just take uh, I just take ten points worth of stuff. And he's taking ten points worth of stuff. All right. And now That's it. we're on to the final round of the game. Ryan's last turn. The house comes off the board, and here we are. And this is it. All right. Ryan gets all three of his dudes back. Oh, right. We're not building. I was thinking we could build another settlement, but of course we can't. That's not there's the, no final that's settlement not, There's no phase. final settlement That's, that's, not part that's of all she wrote. However, you could have paid to use my castle. Did you want to undo points? It would make me cry. Well, that would kind of mess up your... Where you were planning on using it, right? Oh, I certainly was. It was my entire end game strategy. Okay, no, All go, right. ahead. go ahead. <laughs> Thank goodness. I would have 
Hey, I would have done. I would have done things very differently, but that's my own. I mean, that's my own miss. <laughs> Oops. The castle, build one of your own settlements. Using these two cheap resources, Ryan builds the shanty town. Down here, I don't know how this card ended up upside down. There we go. So the yes. terror's gonna like multiply its minus three points all over the place. The witch is? What is? What's going to multiply what three points? Minus, minus three points. Yes, it doesn't multiply the three points. Oh, okay. It, it's oh it's it's negative three points, plus two, plus four. Am I crap at math? Without that there, I would have six points. With that there, I'd have. But doesn't it minus points from the hamlet and from the market town? Um. Okay. Yeah, it might. <laughs> that might be a terrible, terrible idea. What was I even thinking? I don't know. Give me my I could, things I am back. Not, I am not, I Hold don't on. even think I've read the final score. I'm extremely so bad at math. This is the problem. So currently, currently, let's look at this little setup here. This would be two points plus five points is seven, plus another six is 13 points. Yes, correct? Yes? Yeah. Putting this here would make it 10 points. So that's a crap move. But, yes, it's, a, it's a bad. Don't do it. I don't know what I was even trying to do. Just. So instead of doing the thing that I planned to do and not being able to, I think I will, I don't, I think it will flounder until the end of the stream. I think uh, purchasing this, the badly drawn chapel, is my <laughs> only, my only good move at the end of the yeah, game. Yeah, I should have, I should have borrowed your castle to, um... I should have borrowed your castle to build the hilltop village. That would have been... Like Do I have a beer? I don't have a beer. Crumbs. Crumbs. And Windows security just went da doom so everybody on stream heard it. <laughs> I don't have a... I don't have a beer. There were like 30-something points that I lost. Oh, well. Budget. You lost 30 points, didn't you? Yeah, watch. I, I should have used your castle to build the hilltop village. Because that's why I got all this beer. And it would have gone here. And done like yes. beautiful, beautiful things. Mm -hmm. But anyways, if I lose by that, I'm <laughs> within the table. Mm -hmm. As you will, as you would. So this is worth ten points plus another. Nope, just ten points. Wouldn't get the eight points dwelling. Plus another two points because I'd activate it and pay the money to get the book. So there'd be twelve points, and I would not be able to get the thing on the bottom. Uh, however, so 12 points. This one would be worth 4 points and no extra dwelling. Plus, I would get a beer and a meat, and I'd turn the beef. 8 points. So that means that we build the horribly drawn chapel, and then it goes uh, ad adjacent to the whatever up here, and we're going to pay 3 clay and 3 stone in order to build it. Fantastic. Yes, All yes, right. yes. And <laughs> David regrets his life choices. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's so I didn't actually use the castle, um, but I built the chapel and I put my dude on it and I'm paying a buck in order to get a book. Actually, flip the buck to the book, the buck the book, and I can't do the thing with the booze. And then the very final thing I'll do is cry because I'm unable to do anything else very <laughs> interesting at all. Two and a wood gets me the refectory, which I think I will do just because it's points. Abe's. Can One I go there on the hillside? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Cones play. Yeah, Coast play plains and hillside. Cool. So there, there you go. All right. Smashing. All right, we did it. Good night, everybody. No, uh, <laughs> we got a score. <laughs> Could you imagine? Um, All right. Great. So this is where shoot. this is where chat gets to participate because everybody get out your calculators. This gets a little bit nuts. Ho! Oh, here we go. So let's get these buildings out of the way. So. Yep. Yes. <laughs> so how does like do you, do you count do you count the dwelling I'm like the red dwelling value of this or well, just the adjacent? Let's go. <laughs> let's go slowly. Let's go slowly. So over on David's board, the first thing that I want you to do is um, give me okay. Look at your first settlement. We're gonna stop. Start top left. And go across and then like down like reading across and the next row and the next row so the very first one in the first row how is, many points is it worth 
So what, what am I counting? Look at the red house number on that settlement, just on the settlement, the one with the cross, yeah. Five. And then to the left of it? Four. So that's nine to the right of it? Seven, six. Uh, so, so add those all up. So just add those up. Have those four, nine, those four and, up. nine and 13 is 22. So 22 for that one. Now go find your next settlement. Okay, the hamlet is worth uh, 13, 14, 14, and 8, 22. 22 again. So apparently anything over 20 is time well spent. Okay, cool. Okay, and then... Uh, the next one is the farming village, which is worth 8 and 9 is 17, 17 and 4 is 21. Well, very good scores on these settlements. Yep, next Thank one. You. Uh, the next one is the market town, not as good. Uh, 10. 10. Anything else? Nope. That was okay, it. That's it. So that's all of I those. I did not build any extra settlements. So the total is 22 plus 22 is 44 plus 21 is 65 to 75 for your, for nice. your settlements total. Now, I just want you to straight up count the yellow shields on all the buildings. And this is, might be, uh, uh, this might be bust out the calculator time. Right. Yeah, I'll do that. Meanwhile, I'll take a sip of delicious H20. Mmm. 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 Scrumptious. As you know, Knights Around the Table has a sponsorship by water. Uh, water. <laughs> find it, find does, it in why does my phone finer not, lakes and streams. Why does my phone not have a calculator? Mm -hmm. Five. Mm -hmm. Six, one, mm -hmm. six, nine. Have you guys tried this stuff? It's exquisite. Whew. Mm. He takes the edge off that water. Mm, delicious water. Oh, who's coming in? Bob. Hey, Bob Cowden. Thanks so much for the uh, follow on YouTube. Bob Cowden, not to tell tales out of school, but I heard that you have been doing some board game sinning. Bob, uh, what board game sin have you committed? Uh, you have... Oh, my gosh. This is not good at all. So you've apparently uh, listed your used opened board games on online marketplaces for... MSRP or higher. So you didn't even <laughs> discount them, even though it's been opened and looked at and touched and pawed at. Horrendous, Bob. I don't know what you're even thinking. So, Bob, we're going to open up the uh, player picker, sorry, the penance picker 900. I can do this while, while David counts up scores over there. Uh, so here we go. This would be, uh, which game? Which game? Race, uh, race, race or roll for, roll for the, the galaxy. galaxy. Did you want to participate? Or you yeah, still I can, I can go ahead. I got 70. I got, strangely enough, 75. I don't think my score is going to be very good. All right. <laughs> no, not with those first two numbers, but okay. No. So race well, slash roll for the galaxy. In... We're dealing with Bob right now. That's the that's the bigger crime uh, beyond your your first game score. So in, in race for the roll of the galaxy, this is the Pinocchio. This is the Pinocchio penance. So. Oh, very Italian. So what book. you so this is a game where normally you would secretly say what phase you're picking. You must loudly announce the phase you're picking before everybody else makes a check. So just yell it out, announce that phase, and then if you lie, you've got to go into your box of meeples or start sourcing them from other games and start super gluing them to the end of your nose to make your nose bigger. Oh my god, like crazy glue? Like yeah, that's just. That's going to wreck Make the sure. game and your nose. And your That's nose. not good at all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then a Latin benediction. Uh, uh, tu me sentire sicut mulieri naturalis. Go forth in peace and love. Thanks, Bob. Uh, back to it. So we have one more scoring category to do. Points for goods. So count, I think you're doing okay with the points for yeah, goods. Count up all the points on your goods. So side. that's 38. 40, 49, and 4, 53. 53. So you're yeah, going to definitely not. smoke me in that category. So let's add it all up. 75 and 75 is 150, and then so 203 is your score. Did I do that right? Oof. Yeah, probably. Ooh, that's not bad. So you get the pen, and we're going to do mine. So walk me through it. I don't know. 500 is a good score. That is not 500. <laughs> but that's so not. There were mistakes, not. mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Okay, here we go. Here's how, to, here's how to score this. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go settlement by settlement, and I was I was the settlement strategy, but I don't think I pulled out nearly the kind of synergy you we'll, did. We'll see. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, five plus six is eleven plus another five is sixteen plus six is twenty-four. So twenty-four for the first one. Oh, that's pretty good. 
and then 6 and 5 is 11, and then minus 3 is 8, plus 4 is 12 for the next one. Very bad. Okay. The next one is going to be, and you count these water tiles. So 6 yep, plus three. 3 is 9, plus 6 is 15, plus another 5 is 20 for the next one. Uh, I'm sure it's only 20. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 3. 20, 25. The oh, did I? Oh. What's the whiskey distiller we were? So it's, uh, oh, did I miss one? I think you missed the oh, whiskey okay. distillery. So 6 and 6, oh, so 5 and 5 is 10, 6 and 6 is 12, so 22, 25. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Yep. Get the hamlet. So that's going to be 4 and 2 is 6, plus another 6 is 12, plus another 6 is 18. A little low on that one. Market town. And the market town, two and five is seven, plus six is 13 points for the market town. Not so good. Yeah, but you're, that's one extra settlement you have on me. True. And then the farming village is going to be one plus two is three, plus seven is 10. Okay. And that's it. That's all she wrote for those guys. So you had 24 plus 12, plus Call 25, score, plus come, 18. Come score, come. Plus score, 13 plus 10. Remember, if you voted for Ryan, this is your moment. 102. 102, that's bigger than 75. It oh is, my gosh, 102. Is. Okay, wait, back to it. Wait, uh, I missed it. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, now we're going to count up just the yellow shields. Uh, so that's 5 minus 1 is 4, plus 8 is 12, plus another 8 is 20, plus 10 is 30. Remember, I want you to remember, <laughs> this... This used to be my absolute, one of my absolute greatest fears is doing arithmetic reasonably on stream, quickly yeah. on stream in front of people. But I'm You're getting better. I'm at getting it. better. It's slightly better. So we're at 30 points. And uh, 34 uh, b plus 8, now I've jinxed myself, is 42 plus another 3 is 45 plus another 7 is 52. Oh no. 52. Wait, wait, wait. 56. Who was it? Say, say the name. Oh, J.J. Wink is following on J.J. Wink. J. So Wink. we're at 52. Hold on, hold on. 56. Hold that note. 52. J.J., thank you so much for following. Now, we, uh, we've we heard that you've been up to some board game sins. We can interrupt it. That's okay. Uh, the board game sin that you've committed, apparently? Well, let me just look this up. <laughs> no! I almost don't want to read this one. Is this true? Even during the pandemic, you've you've been Donald ducking it at a public game meetup? You know what that term even means? Don't don't Google it. It's not nice. Anyway, to the uh, to the penance picker nine hundred. To the penance picker nine hundred we go. And we're going to do penance for a certain board game. So next time you play Agricola. Agricola. Okay. What is it, David? Brother David. So so you're gonna be you're gonna be an animal lover in Agricola. So don't play like Ryan played. So feeding your family is important, but not as important as your respect and love for animals. Mm. You can only use food in Agricola derived from grain or vegetables. Oh, man. No sheep in the fire. If you're not sure where the food came from, like day laborer, don't trust it. Grain you grew in your own. Grain and vegetables you grew in your own fields. That's Making it. an already borderline impossible game <laughs> nigh undoable, so luck. completely unplayable. Thank you for uh, following and... Thanks good so luck, much. JJ Wink with Oh, that. wait, the benediction. Wait, hold on. Again, I don't speak very good Latin, but uh, let me just uh, see if I can just wrap my lips around this. Uh, Omnes capere de beo. Whatever that means. <laughs> uh, so uh, I think uh, Poppy's pointing out that I missed math on the very yeah, first I settlement. Fixed it. You it's fixed correct. it? Okay. Her, um, her, so she was correct. So you're wait. at 56 after the refactory. Uh, 56 on this row? Yeah. Okay, so 56 uh, plus 5 is 61, 63, 64, uh, 70, uh, 71, 77, 75. Oh, no, no, I was counting blues at, at, at reds at the end. Sorry. Yeah, because start back from 56. 56. 56, 62, 64, 65, 80. Whoo, 80, 95, uh, 99. 99. Wow. wow, hey, hey oh. Not looking good. It's like good. I've played this game before. Fantastic. Once, once only. And then I don't think I did much here. I just had uh, two books and a and a whiskey, so it's five points. Enough. Five points. 
that's enough. Tell me. Here, let's get it on camera. Let's get it on camera. Did I do it? Did I do one? Okay, add, add it all up, David. Yes. Oh, what is it? It's 203, 204. Oh, no. Oh, I'm an ungracious winner. Clang, 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 clang. Yay. Very nice. We're at fantastic. Well done. Let's do the COVID elbow bump. Good job. For your first game, you... You didn't get as many points as I did for my first game, but yeah, I, I beat I, myself was, in my first game. I I've got thirty food left over. I've got I've got so if I had built if I had built the if I had built the hillside town instead. It would have been a difference of how many points been, like big points, right? Yeah, because it would have been eighteen and another ten, twenty eight. 28, 28 points. points versus I might have got 10. That's what I, so I learned in I, my first play. Was the this. settlements were definitely, I definitely botched that part of it. Settlements are yeah. huge, right? Huge. And then placement of settlements. Your placement of your settlements is way better. Look at this. Look how much tighter Dave's board, David's board is than um, my board. Let's go to my nonsense of a gap tooth. Yeah. Kind of sparsity. You, I don't know what I was doing you down could've, here. I could have optimized that a you lot. You could have. I think you could have had a, a lot more. I... I ended up buying and building numerous engine buildings that I never used. So that right. was also a, no, but I enjoyable. Definitely, definitely one of those games that you gotta play through once to uh, to work very close. Yeah, absolutely. Very and close. like, of course, you get through the end. You're like, oh, I would do that totally differently. Yeah. So what would you do differently the next time you played? Um, I think just be a little more. Probably just be a little more selective about the engine that I was going for, right? I think I just, I just you didn't dabbled too your much. Focus? Didn't narrow enough. Um, mm. Threw too many buildings early, which weren't points. Avoided buildings late, which were points. So, yeah. And I think, I think the conversions on the buildings, like even this one where I was kind of turning, like even this was like for five coins I would get sort of. 10 points but really eight because the five points are two right so for eight points yeah, yeah, maybe not. is that yeah. really worth it for sort of two activations hard to say so yeah no uh, definitely better settlements i don't think i i think i would but yeah but still still lots of fun thanks thanks poppy i hopefully uh and thanks, Moran. Thanks, Moran. Glad Time you, to sleep, Moran glad, says. Glad it's 5 a.m. Moran, you stayed up all night for us? Well, We're I not worth it. it. We're not worth all night. We're apparently not even worth it to get to that precious 200 Twitch no, follower we're number. Not. Doesn't That's, look like we're going to make just it. Like we had so many. Back. My gosh. If you're watching so right sins, now, here, we'll so do many. so many sins we're forgiven. We're going to do one more appeal. So if you're, if you're just catching the stream right now, I doubt you are because there's only. Four Still people, six people, people watching. Yeah, here. it's the same yeah. number of people. <laughs> I might not do one more appeal, but uh, I don't know. I guess we'll like we'll. Assign, if I were to play it again, I would definitely eat Walker's cheese and onion chips. Yes, I would definitely have uh, water brought to you by water. So <laughs> go seek out some water. Uh, you can get it basically everywhere, right? It's a very popular drink. So like you know, I'm sponsored by a very popular drink. Uh, I hope you're enjoying Uwe Rosenberg Month. This is really only the second new episode that we've done this year for Uwe Rosenberg Month. But tons of cool stuff coming up. If you go to nightsaroundatable.com, there's going to be a badge at the top. You click that, it'll take you to the Uwe Rosenberg Month calendar. So what's coming up? Yeah, so we should defrock. Yeah. We right. should. Woo! Woo! It's a bit woo. sweaty under that cowl. Uh, so we got a couple of cool things coming up. Like I said, if you like this time slot and you'd like to stay up all night again, which, Moran, come on, I don't recommend it, then next week we've got... Dave, not David, but Dave, who you saw playing Zaya with me a few weeks ago, he's going to come and play A Feast for Odin, which is probably, I think, not only my favorite Uwe Rosenberg game, but one of my yeah, favorite games of all times. It's, 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 a great it's one. so, not of all times, of all time. It's so fantastic. So I hope that you can join us for that. And then after that, if you've never met my wife, Cheryl, she's going to be on the, oh, look, oh, the follower count's going down. They're like, he's married? Forget this. I'm out of here. I thought I had a chance. Anyway, Cheryl's going to be playing, uh, um, what is she playing? She's playing Lahav with me. And then after that, uh, Shawnee O is going to come on and play Halatau. And then on the Thursday afternoon one, I'm going to be doing solo games the whole time. And I'm working on some how to plays, including a how to play video for this one and probably Lahav. But we'll see how it goes because that's a whole pile of work. Yeah, the how to play video for this one is definitely needed because there are not how to plays for this. No, because it, well, it was out of print for a little while, right? You yeah. didn't even get it. Yeah. But, uh, no. And not only that, but like 
it's a it's a pain in the butt to explain. It's a pain in the butt to even learn it. But now but it that was, it was smooth, though. I mean, I, I will say, yeah. I will say that about it. Like we didn't have, I mean, maybe we messed up like a thousand things we didn't notice. But <laughs> I mean, I, think I don't well. think so. And no. I think it was smooth. I mean, the wheel worked well. Like yeah. it was really clear what the resources were. Mm. The buildings were intuitive. Like yeah. I could have checked the final scoring probably a little better, but mm -hmm. anyways, yeah. well, I think we're good. I think we're okay. good. No, it's great. great. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you so much to my special guest, David. You're going to be seeing Thank him hopefully on other streams. Hop onto the Discord server and let him know how he did after we uh, shut it all down. I think I'm going to hear it from Ben. Right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Normally, I'm supposed to go like raid somebody, but uh, I'm still working on the process of raiding. i got something cool coming up. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Ferris. Thank you so much, Poppy. Who else is here? I think everybody has Ferris, gone to sleep. Poppy. Uh, yep. Great. We'll see you again Night in the next guys. one. Did you just watch that whole thing? Oh, hey, to 100% this video, click the badge to subscribe, and then click the bell to get notifications when I've got new stuff.